Thursday at night, 40 away with that green light. So let's go. We're on. Hang on, take on to the Big House Sport. We are here as round number six gets underway here for Rugby League, man. And uh, look, it's actually a pretty good round with some pretty good matchups. And although tonight's game isn't exactly one that a great deal of people will be like, oh, wow, this is going to be amazing. It absolutely has the ability to. We've got the Newcastle Knights. Taking on the Sydney Roosters here, 12th place versus 10th place. Both teams uh, kind of around that middle of the pack right now, just looking to, to make a bit of a move pre-origin period because we're starting to get into pre-origin period now. Uh, maybe not yet, actually. Probably more so like round eight, so in a couple of weeks' time. But at the end of the day, we're starting to, to get into that kind of late April, early May uh, period where uh, people will start to talk about origin. You want to really make a good move before you start losing players, right? So... Yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle here tonight. Now, there is some big games this weekend too. Obviously, guys, I will be in Canberra from tomorrow. Uh, I'll be in Canberra from tomorrow until Monday for the Titans game on Sunday. Uh, but tomorrow's games will be straight from down there. Storm versus the Bulldogs and the Broncos versus the Dolphins, which will be a cracker. Saturday, we've got Warriors, Manly, Eels, Cowboys, and the Rabbitohs versus the Sharkies. And then on Sunday, we've got TJC Sports, who will be covering the Titans versus Raiders game at GIO Stadium in Canberra for you guys. Obviously, I will not be streaming because I'll be at the game vlogging. Well, hopefully we get our first win of the season there. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to um, getting down to the cool weather of Canberra after what was really, really hot up there in Townsville. Obviously, this is my first live stream that we've done since uh, getting back. We obviously put the vlog out. And uh, look, just before we do get into it, obviously, yeah, look, took a little bit of a, um, a bit of a mental health break this week. Uh, got absolutely slammed. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, got absolutely slammed quite quite a little bit with some pretty uh, you know significant stuff. So I, I did decide to make sure that I'm all good, make sure that I can crack on again, and um, we're here for round number six, baby. So I'm very much going to be absolutely powering forward, son, powering forward. That's what we do here. But guys, obviously hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new around here. Let's get into the two team lineups. Obviously we'll talk about TBC Live, uh, who. Uh, obviously, do sponsor the channel here on BK Sport. We do love playing a bit of TBC Live, and I'm going to beat you guys tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to absolutely womp you guys. I'm going to whoop you, especially Lockie. Especially Lockie. I got you covered, son. But all right, so the Knights, their 12th place going up against the Roosters, who are in 10th place. Uh, this is at McDonald Jones Stadium. The Knights, they're a $1.59 favorites to the Roosters, who are $2.31 underdogs. Now, the ins here for the Knights, Greg Martiu. He is a big in with Thomas Kent being out. The fullback, Caelan Ponga, who is captain, with the wings being Anari Tuala and Greg Martiu. A place the Knights have struggled this year for mine has been on those wings. Anari Tuala obviously has been doing better than what Thomas Jenkins has been doing. So it was obvious that Jenkins was going to be dropped for the likes of Greg Martiu, who is an absolutely damaging winger that the Knights do desperately need. You go to the centres, you got Dane Gagai and Bradman Best, with the 5'8 being Jack Cogger and the halfback being Jackson Hastings. You go to the front row, Jacob Saifidi and Leo Thompson, with the number 9 being Jaden Braley. You go to the back row, Dylan Lucas and Kai Pierce Paul. Great back row there. And then the 13 is Adam Elliott. Interchange wise, Phoenix Crossland, Daniel Saifidi, Jack Hetherington, and Matt Croker, with the 18th man replacement being Thomas Jenkins. So the Knights team is pretty much what you would expect there, man. Their, their halves, I think that they're more set now. Obviously, they, they went into the season without Hastings uh, by choice. Then he came back in. They got the win last week in torrential conditions. Uh, so I guess that they're, that, yeah, they're looking to implement Jack Hogger in the 6 and Hastings in the 7, which is what I've been calling for all season. But it worked last week when they did obviously take down the Dragons in a torrential conditions game. Now we move to the Sydney Roosters. A couple of massive outs here. Now the ins, Fetalega, Pauga, Nat Butcher, and Zach Docker-Clay. They're in with the three outs. Dom Young, James Tedesco, and Sam Walker. They're three massive outs. Obviously, Dom Young was at the Knights last season. Was incredible. Uh, he is out due to suspension. James Tedesco uh, and Sam Walker both out due to injury, which is really, really frustrating here for this Roosters team, especially when they don't want to let this season kind of get away from them early, man. Uh, and obviously, after that really, really awful loss to the Dogs last week, awful. I know there was like good courage and bravery in that loss, at the end of the day, they still lost to the Dogs, right? So the Roosters would be really hurting after that one and really want to bounce back here. But without Dom Young, James Tedesco, and Sam Walker, it's going to be really, really hard for them to do so. Now, the fullback, Joey Manu, with the wingers being Daniel Tupo and Fitalega Palga. You've got the centers of Michael Jennings and Joseph Suali'i. Going to the halves, Connor Watson is the 5'8", with Luke Keary as the halfback and captain. 
You got in the front row, Jared Maria Hargraves and Lindsay Collins, with the nine being Brandon Smith. You got in the back row, Nat Butcher and Angus Crichton, with the 13 being Victor Radley. Interchange wise, Zach Docker Clay, Nafahu White, Satili Tupanua, and Terrell May, with the 18th man replacement being Egan Butcher. Man, you look at that team lineup there for the Roosters and you're like, gee whiz, that is going to be... If they win this game here today, it's not like the Knights are a real you know, menacing team right now. And it's not like the Roosters would be scared coming into this game at McDonald's Jones Stadium. But at the end of the day, you know, those are three significant outs, especially with two of them being the spine. And you don't see many teams, you do not see many teams win when they've got half their spine out. And the issue as well is that Luke Heary has been, I guess... Maybe not necessarily a scapegoat, but a lot of people have been complaining about his performance throughout the season. So now he's actually going to have to be pushed into a more key role in that halfback role and lead this team, which he absolutely can do. But maybe a couple of years ago, obviously, would you be a lot more comfortable with him going into that position? And Connor Watson, who you don't see as a half, is more of a hooker, more of a utility. Uh, he comes to that 5'8". So, uh, and then you go back and they've got no Tedesco on the fullback and Joe Mano goes there, who will do a job. So I'm not too nervous about that. Now, if I'm going to make a prediction for this game, because obviously there was no tipping stream this week, if I'm going to make a prediction for this game, you surely have to go with the Knights, to be completely honest with you. You, you surely have to go with the Knights based off of the fact that they've got a fully full-strength lineup. If the Roosters can win this game, it's quite impressive, and I do think they will be up for it. I don't think this is going to be a game where, you know, the uh, the Roosters are just going to get whooped. Is there a chance it happens? Potentially with no direction. Potentially with no direction. But Connor Watson does still have experience in those halves. He's not necessarily a half, but he does have experience it's kind of a number on the back, right? But I, I, I don't think he'll do too badly there. I don't think he'll do too badly. But at the end of the day, I do have to say that the Newcastle Knights are the ones I'm going to have to tip in this one. Um, I, I'm going to go 1-12. I'm not going to go 13+. plus. I will go 1-12. I just think that outs of the Roosters are so significant, man. So significant. But guys, obviously hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, let's uh, talk about TBC Live, the sponsors for today's video. We appreciate TBC Live every single week so far this season. We've been absolutely slapping it down. Now, if you don't know what TBC Live is, firstly, the pinned comment in the chat, it is completely free to use, completely free to play. And this week, you can win a $200 NRL gift voucher uh, where you can go buy yourself a jersey, especially with the Anzac Day coming up. There's a couple of jerseys floating around right now that are pretty cool. So if you do go and win it, then you can, yeah, obviously go and uh, splurge on some NRL uh, merchandise with the NRL.com um, gift voucher. Now, uh, if you don't know what TBC Live is, basically you predict what's going to happen next. So if you think that Daniel Tupo is going to make a line break in the next set, you can predict that. You put that there. Everyone else is playing alongside you. I'm playing alongside you. You vote eight, four, two state points, either up or down, if you agree or disagree. And then obviously you just combine it throughout the rest of the game. So you're literally playing what we're watching. You're literally playing based on what you're watching. You know, do you think Greg Marzi or do you think Dan Gagai is going to score a try in the next 10 minutes? Do you think that uh, Jared Maria Hargraves is going to get a tackle break and, you know, run for 50 metres in the next 10 minutes? You make that prediction and we can all vote in it and uh, we see who can do the best predictions throughout the game. But it's a great app. You definitely should go and check it out. And uh, I'm going to bet you guys tonight. It's just as simple as that, man. Oh, Actually, stop complaining, man. Like, I'm going to slap you. I'm going to slap you, man. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. But I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm going to slap you, man. But all right, guys. Let's get into the chat. Thumbs up, subscribe. Bing, bong, bing. Ding, dong, ding. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, Sam Jenkins says, Jokes fixed it on uh, what happened. What have I done? What have I done now? Have I done a, a Muppet thing like Clarkie did in regards to the podcast? Did I do something Muppetry in regards to like what Clarkie did in the podcast? Dear me. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you go and check out the Gold Coast Titans Frontline podcast. Uh, basically, um, Clarkie bring the Muppet that he is. Uh, he uh, put up a link for like the, the so you can find the front line now so you can send a voice message in for our podcast and we'll react to it next week and he put the uh, wrong email in so people have been sending it through all day but we can't get into that one because he put the wrong email in so we've had to set up a whole brand new brand new email and whatnot for the um, for the speak bite thing that we, we do use so Kalaki Muppet we love him I'll see him this week still Muppet uh, if Ali Tom says that Knights will trash them, uh, it's, like it's a chance. It is a chance. I'll take the Knights, but I don't think they're going to trash them. It's not like the Knights have been super impressive so far this season. You know, like, yeah, okay, cool. They beat the Dragons last week, uh, which is an okay win, I guess. Like, the Dragons aren't anything spectacular, but it was really, really awful conditions there. And they beat them 30 to 10. They did lose to the Warriors. They beat the Storm, but with that being said, that was an awful performance there where the Storm had, like, Lots of players out. They had a lot of players. They had Jerome Hughes, Karen Munster, obviously Nelson up there. You know, a whole bunch of guys 
were out of that game, and yet they still only won by two points. The Knights are the full-strength team. Uh, awful performance against the Cowboys, where they lost 21-20, to and awful performance against the Raiders, where they lost 28-12 to at home. So it's not like the Knights have great form coming into this game. I know people will look at the last game, but it's like it was against the Dragons, who are really, really inconsistent this season. Like, get a win where you don't expect it, and then can get absolutely whooped, which they did. So, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be too crazy red-hot convinced about the uh, the Knights right now, but also, obviously, the Roosters have their definite own problems. Flurry getting around it. Brocky Sports, unbranded. Flurry says, a billion-dollar question. Did you get to Cactus Jacks? Unfortunately, the answer is no. The answer is no. We had a great feed. We did have a really good feed that night. I think I had some Indian food down by, uh, down by the Strand there, or maybe around the other section of Townsville, which is close enough to the Strand. Uh, it was great food. It was really hot. It was really hot, though. It was really, really hot, though. All it takes with AJ says, nice by a bit tonight, I think. Uh, Sam says, I think the fancy center we had was Indian. There we go. Bang. Bang. There we go. There we go. Uh, Flurry says, I saw where you camped, the only bloody hill in townie. Oh, my dearie me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is Sam's fault. This is Sam's fault in the chat. That's his fault. Fancy center I had was Sizzler. <laughs> Mate, Sizzler needs to come back. We need to bring it back. I don't care how it's done. I don't care if someone wants to make a knockoff and call it, you know, Smizzler. I don't know. Just bring it back. I want that uh, that cheesy bread. That cheesy bread is the goat, son. Exactly right, Jay. Say it louder. Jay Hayes says, imagine booking a hotel on top of a hill. Gee whiz. Get a grip of yourself, Sam Jenkinson. Get a grip of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Daniel McLennan says, feel like there's some value in the Roosters today. Nights just aren't exciting me. I agree. I, I agree there is definite value there. I am still going to tip the Knights, though, but I can see the value in the Roosters despite all their outs. There is definitely value based on the fact the Knights aren't anything spectacular right now as it is either. Will Shaw says, to be fair, Kiri was key to the Roosters' comeback last week. Yes, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But with that being said, recently he hasn't been in his greatest form. Uh, but you're not wrong. Kiri has been a, a... He still is a big part of this Roosters team, right? And he's got the experience and he's a great player. But obviously people are still expecting him to play like, you know... Prime Kiri in 2018. Now, Prime Kiri was unbelievable. You know, Prime Kiri is actually underrated, whether that be for the Rabbitohs or for the Roosters. But obviously, you know, age catches up with you. <laughs> you know, especially in this game, you know, age catches up with you and he is on the downward trajectory. But with that being said, I don't think he's been as bad as people are making out and he does have his input into the game. Uh, but I do think for the Roosters to go on and win a premiership, I do think they need to start thinking maybe potentially elsewhere. But then again, that is just kind of early season thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Things can change. But I just haven't seen an upward trajectory from, from uh, Kiri, which is obvious due to the age, which does leave me a little bit like, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the Roosters will go long-term into the season. Uh, when my deep dive of Capish content would occur, oh, Sam. <laughs> Aguero, member for 24 months. Appreciate you, brother. This is three from three. Not that bad. I got us 3-1 at home. Oh, 3-3, three, three, not three from three. Um, he's talking about City versus Real Madrid. Yeah, you know, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I, I want away goals to come back, mate. Uh, bring the away goals back for the police. Police, 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 police. Uh, Mark Water says, been away. How were your tips last week? Uh, I think I did all right. Let me quickly go have a little look-ski. Uh, I did, wasn't able to do my tips this week because I took a little bit of a mental health break this week. Uh, but round five, I got a storm right over the Broncos. I uh, did not get the Bulldogs over the Roosters, so one and one. Knights, Dragons, I took the Knights, so I was two and one. Took the Warriors, so I was three and one. I took the Panthers, so I was three and two because uh, they lost to Manly. Uh, took the Dolphins, so I was a four and two. Uh, obviously, it took the Titans. Uh, so I was four and three, and then took the Eels. So I was four and four last week. Didn't have a great week. That was not a great week. We are still positive for the season, though. We are still positive for the season. I should actually go while I'm here, just so that I can update that. Just so that will this do it? With, is this the one here? No, that's the wrong one. No, that's the no, no. We're we're all over the place. There we go. I'll just update this while we're here, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We're still got about. Uh, 15 minutes to go until the kickoff. So let's go 24 and 16. So I'll take that record still. I don't think that's a bad record. I don't think that's a bad record at all. Um, but, you know, with that being said, I would have preferred. I would have preferred. But to be fair, I did tip I did tip the Cowboys on the Titans podcast. So I realistically should actually just take that. But you guys know me. I'm going to back in my team. Uh, Flores has just swapped to my lap. He's sick of losing my stream when I checked Supercoach. It was stuff losing the stream, Flurry. Come on, you know? Come on. We're going to start not losing the stream around here. Deary me. Seb Watson says, Knights to win Manu uh, and Matsu anytime. 10%. Seb Watson can't wait. 
Slava says, I've watched that Muppet since the other week. Uh, Nate Jason says, Anzac Round is the best round of the regular season. And I'm, uh, like, I agree with you, Nate. And why I really agree with you as well is because the Titans are playing the Warriors in New Zealand. And I've never been to New Zealand before. So that's in two weeks' time. I'm so excited to get to New Zealand. I'm so excited to get to New Zealand. Even if you hadn't just sent me there in the middle of, you know, winter, I would have still been like, wow, I'm going to New Zealand. I'm really looking forward to this. I've never been there before. Brand new experience in Auckland. But instead, you've given me Anzac Day. You know, what an amazing experience that is. What an absolutely amazing experience that is. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting to New Zealand on Anzac Day to watch my Titans play, regardless of the result, man. You know, the uh, Warriors fans are great. It'll be a packed out crowd. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a good time. It's going to be a great time. Uh, Jay Sepp says, who do you tip for each game? Haven't, I didn't, like I said, I didn't, wasn't able to do my tips this week because I did have a, a bit of a mental health break, uh, which you do need from time to time, lads, especially when you're a content creator and, you know, you have an audience who, <laughs> you know, can get a little bit, uh, well, I'm not going to say a little bit, but can get quite fiery, let's put it that way, right? Um, especially when you're a content creator for a specific team and the team is not doing well and you've got a lot of expectations on your shoulders and you've got... You know, people who want to bring you down and whatnot. So, it's yeah, it was a bit of a messed up weekend last week um, in regards to, you know, dealing with um, the online world. So, I took a bit of a break throughout the week. Obviously, still put my vlog up and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, here we are. We crack on, baby. We crack on. Adam Smart says, even being a Queensland supporter, how good is Wade Egan going to look in the Blues jersey? Uh, look, I think that Apisak Ottawa South should be the hooker. Wade Egan is uh, Wade Egan's a great player, and I definitely would not say no to him being there, but I do think that Apisak Ottawa South is the guy there. Obviously, Damian Cook is out of the equation with the fact that he's been dropped for the Rabbitohs this week. Um, and actually, just to answer that question before about the tipping, you'll see my tip on the live stream before the game, right? So I'll do my tip. And then on Saturday, I'll do my tips for the Titans Raiders game, which I'm actually quite confident, funnily enough. Um, and then the other game is... What's the other game? What's the other game on Sunday that I will miss? The other game on Sunday that I will miss is Tigers Dragons. <laughs> um, okay, hey, hey lads, you know what? Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the splurge of entertainment from the uh, beautiful West Tigers versus Central Tarawa Dragons. I wish you the best of luck. I will be in Canberra. No, yeah, I will not be watching that one. So yeah, you'll see my tips on these on these streams beforehand. Uh, but yeah, Wade Egan is a, is a great player, Adam Smart. I definitely don't uh, deny that. I do think that that'd be Sakotowi Sow is the guy there, though, for the um, for the New South Wales Blues, even as a Queensland fan. Uh, Zach's RTY says, Cronulla contenders or pretenders? Do South have a chance this week? That's a great question. Are Cr Cronulla pretenders or contenders? I think I'm a bit reserved on that. I'm a bit 50-50. If, if you, you know, told me I have to select. Like, if I had to select right now... I would still say pretenders, but I do think that they're on the brink of starting to convince you again. So I know I'm sitting a little bit on the fence there, and I hate that. But with that being said, like, look, they beat the Warriors, that was great. Beat the Dogs, that was fine. Got whooped by the Tigers, and then, you know, struggled really early against the Raiders, but then came back strongly. But the struggle was still there, and you still see that. And then, you know, had the bye. So I'm, I'm still 50-50 on the Sharks, man. Uh, I really am. I'm still 50-50. But it, it's a winnable game for the Rabbitohs, I won't lie. That doesn't mean that I'll, I'll be tipping them. I don't think that anyone could you know, tip the Rabbitohs right now with their internal struggles. Uh, but it is definitely a game that the Rabbitohs could get up in if they're obviously focused on the job. But they haven't been focused on the job too much so far this season, man. Trust me, I know how their fans are feeling. Well, you know, I, I definitely do. I've been there before. Nate says, uh, Dom Young threw a high shot last week to avoid playing a new this week. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Can you believe how many people are talking about him with his shirt off? Like, dudes, guys, relax. <laughs> relax. And this is why we are allowed and entitled to talk about how the NRLW players are attractive. You are allowed to do it because everyone, women, men, they're always talking about players in the men's game. It's just right that we are allowed to comment on the attractiveness of the females. That doesn't mean, though, you take away from the fact that they are quality footballers and are quality of what they do. But with that being said, you know, we're my men. We're all men. We're allowed to still comment on it with respect, though, is what I will really reiterate there. Mark Water Sisters, who does still exist? That's not the comment that I wanted to read directly after what I've just said. Uh, but yes, there is hooters. There is, there is still hooters around Mark Warner. That is... Uh, there is definitely uh, still who's around. I think I went to one in Chicago. It might have been in Indiana when I was there. Um, great establishment, mate. Definitely a great establishment. Would love to go and visit there. Would love to do a vlog there one time. You know, just, just to appreciate the food that is on offer. Zach says, I want to go to Chooks, but Newcastle and Newcastle is too hard to pass up. 
Uh, well, they got thumped by the Raiders in Newcastle early on this season. Uh, I think that if you're going to go Newcastle, it'll be because obviously the Roosters haven't got their players in right now and they look pretty awful against the Dogs. Uh, Diego Portelas, the, the team shape for the Roosters is good. I think Dom Young was a weak link defensively anyways. Oh, yeah, look, defensively, yes. But then again, most wingers are, man. Like, I think people have this little misconception about wingers in regards to their defense because that's where the best attackers are going on. And at the end of the day, wingers are realistically, you know, the, the peak of the attack, right? The peak of being, well, the cherry on top of the peak of the attack, right? So that's the focus. And then defensively, it kind of, wingers are actually only as good as their center in regards to the defense. And a lot of people don't really talk about this. Wingers are realistically only as good as their inside men, right? So. You know, you can look at a lot of players on the wing and say, okay, well, he's a fantastic attacker, but he's an awful, you know, defender. Brian Toto was a little bit different to this. He's very good at being balanced across the park. Um, and yet you still won't see people talk as much about him anymore because he has taken that kind of more balanced approach. It's like David Fafita. David Fafita, instead of just being a try scorer, a try scorer, a try scorer, uh, now is very, very balanced and you still see people hating. You know, you can't win in the eyes of the fans, right? But um, Greg Marty, awful defender, great attacker, but people don't really talk about that, right? So, um, yeah, people need to understand that a winger is only as good as their centre because if the centre shoots in, see you later. See ya later. Acid Crap says, uh, how's that? I brought up the other week about possibility of Wayne Bennett rejoining the Bunnies and now the NRL meet is talking about it. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what Wayne does. Acid Crap must be the NRL media watching on. Hello, NRL media. <laughs> but yeah, you did call it. You did You did say there's a, you know, maybe. You know, you did say maybe. Sam Jenkins says, it's Meninga and the media for the Rabbits, isn't it? Uh, I th yeah, Meninga is being talked about. He's being talked about, but I have... Thought processes. Uh, Acid Crap says, Mal's just a possible interim. For now. Uh, Fatima says, even though we lost Brian Kelly, uh, even though we lost, Brian Kelly had an amazing game. He broke tackles and ran it hard, and we still made a comeback, just the first half was too much. Uh, I would suggest you listen to the Gold Coast Titans Frontline Podcast with myself and Clarky that came out today. Uh, it's a great podcast where we talk all things Titans, Tweedhead, Seagulls, uh, and the Ipswich Twist Jets. And when the women's come on, we'll be talking about the NRLW as well, uh, which we have a great team for, FYL. We had the grand final last year. So a little bit of positivity there. Um, but yeah, BK has things to work on. He, he has things to work on. But yeah, he does have his moments as well, which is really good. Uh, Sam Jenkins says Bennett is not likely at all according to all the stories stories don't mean jack I won't lie to you like I always say this to you guys take what you see in the media as a grain of salt take what you see in the media as a grain of salt we've seen plenty of reports that have been confirmed in the past that have been shut down and me look at Reese Walsh the other week they said that he'd already signed and he'd, he'd re-signed bang there you go with, with the Broncos on a massive contract everyone's talking about it Fox League posting it everyone is and then Reese himself posts a story saying, haven't done it yet. You know, so that's the point. The media is an upper echelon fan, <laughs> in a way. They have their connections, but they're upper echelon fans in that regard where they are, they're still putting out their opinions. Andrew says, morning guys, evening to you. Uh, hope we're all good. Great result the other night, City. Yeah, beautiful result, son. I love it. 3-3 three, three at the Bernabeu. Thank you very much. I'll take that. I'll be there Saturday, then again for the second leg. A huge game. How's this game looking? I'm thinking overs. Yeah, I like the overs, but you've got to also remember the Roosters have got players out, but I don't mind the overs. I don't mind it at all. Uh, best sport talk I know. Says George Jennings is better than Michael Jennings. Uh, Seb Watson says, won't it be Appy and Reese Robson? Uh, I would assume so, but I wouldn't say no to Appy and Wade Egan. I, I wouldn't mind that little option there. I'm a Queenslander, but... I'm giving you my thought process on what I think would be the greatest opportunity there for New South Wales. And I would say that, yeah, Appy as a nine and then Wade Egan. But then again, I don't know if New South Wales double hooker uh, situation like what Queensland do with uh, Harry Grant and Ben Hunt. I don't necessarily know if that's working for him. I just don't. So maybe they have to go away from it. I'm not too sure. But, you know, it, it's good questions to be asking. Mike Cool says, Doggies can make an upset. Who are the Doggies playing this week? Who are the Doggies got this week? Uh, Storm? Unlikely in Amy Park in Melbourne. I know you beat it there last year. I'm very well aware of this. I'm very well aware of this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I doubt it. I doubt it. But uh, they could. They could. Uh, they definitely could. Uh, Fatima says yes, but his attack was pretty good. Yes, but we need. He need. He's got stuff to work on. But I also love BK, and I want BK to succeed. Uh, but I can tell you right now that Aaron Shook is knocking on the door in uh, Ipswich Jets because he's been having some really good games with the Jets. Uh, Adam Smart says, what coach is the most underfired coach other than the South? Brad Arthur or someone else further north? I'm starting to hear a faint chant 
here in New Zealand coming from the Brisbane area. Well, no, I think Kevin Walters will be fine, mate. I know the Broncos aren't doing too well so far. I'm smart. Um, I think the most safe coaches right now would be like Ivan Cleary, Desi Hasley, Craig Bellamy, and, and Wayne Bennett, obviously. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I'd, I'd say Kevin Walters is probably safe. Uh, <laughs> Adam Smart, to be completely honest with you. Um, did hear that some, some, some murmurs about Andrew Webster, though, which is not great, Adam, but, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully he can stick it out with the team. Uh, Slava says the Bunda is a bonus. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's not, no, the, no, no, <laughs> no, yes, no. Chooks will bring Newcastle back to earth, Gregory John says. I just don't know, with this team out, man, with the team list, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too sure, mate. I'm not too sure. Let's go make some predictions on TBC Live. Let's go make some predictions on TBC Live. Um, oh, damn. That's a bold statement to make. Damn, a team is... Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. That's interesting to like that. Sorry, I'm just looking at an Instagram comment that I made. Okay. Um... That's bold of a team to like. Uh, but I agree, because they're agreeing with me, but in the same sense, that's bold. Um, to <laughs> Okay. All right, so let's go make a prediction here. The prediction for the first 10 minutes of the game, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Greg Martsu has... Greg Martsu... You know what? We're going to say Greg Martsu touches... Greg Matthew has five possessions. That's what we're going to do. Five possessions in the first 15 minutes. That's a, that's a lot of possessions, though, in the first 15 minutes. We'll go with that. But then again, he, he could run the ball back and whatnot. No, I think that's fine. I think five possessions in the first 15 minutes is, is solid. So I'll post that little bad boy on TBC Live. You don't know what I'm talking about, guys. The uh, pinned comment in the chat. Uh, Lockie's rugby leagues with Roosters right out first. Oh, you're you're a scumbag, Lockie. I love you, but you're a scumbag. You are a scumbag because if anyone votes no on that, you're silly. So I'm putting eight votes on that because the away team always runs out first, lad. So Lockie's NRL, you are a sneaky, sneaky little conniving man. I love it. I love it. But I know what you're doing there. You you sneaky little bugger. Um, all right, predict <laughs> Lockie, man. Uh, all right, so then we'll do an any time prediction. And the anytime prediction is... Wow, wait. I will read that now. Thank you very much, Olivia. Thank you very much. That means a lot. I'll read it coming out in a second. Actually, you know what? I'll read that now. And then I'll do my TBC predictions. Olivia Reed with the $80 to read two donation. I really appreciate that, Olivia. Uh, especially after the week that I've had. Uh, so thank you very much, Olivia. Uh, it does mean a lot. Uh, Says so another day, another donation. I have had the most shit day today, so I'm ready for 40 and some BKR shenanigans. Also, thank you for your great suggestion for 28 Black. We won big at 1.30 a.m. Can I also just say you're amazing and I appreciate you? No, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, it's been a tough week, but you know, it's um, it's awesome to see people like yourself, obviously, frequently coming back to the streams and supporting the content and whatnot. And um, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Olivia. Uh, but at 28 Black, I I'm glad that went well for you. I'm glad that's my mum's birthday. Tw number 28 is my mum's birthday, 28th of October. Uh, but all right, let's go and do our um, let's go and do our anytime prediction here. And we'll go any time prediction of bum, 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 bum. any time prediction. We will say uh, roosters. We'll say roosters score. Uh, roosters held under twelve and a half points. Uh, you know what? Roosters held under six and a half points first half. Bing bong, bing bong. Yeah, we'll, we'll go that one, and we'll post that prediction. Post prediction. Fatima has put no tries in the first five minutes. I like that, Fatima. I like that one. And then I'll put the special prediction. The special prediction of. Uh... <laughs> Jennings, 300 game um, milestone uh, not mentioned on commentary. So that's, that'll be interesting. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So Jennings throughout the game master not mentioned on commentary. So we'll put that one there. We'll see how that one goes. Um, all right. Again, thank you, Olivia. Uh, Nate J says, Mel reckons nobody from South has approached him, so I'd say Fox is talking out their asses. I saw something before saying Mel was... Um, I saw something before saying Mel was... Uh, saying that they had approached him, but not, like, officially. Like, they approached him, but not officially. <laughs> This is interesting. So Jennings is walking out by himself here. The Roosters obviously want to celebrate it for him. The NRL has said no. 
the comments is not talking about it. And there is a little bit of booing around, which is really weird. I hope I hope I'm hearing that incorrectly, but you know, uh, you've you've got to congratulate a player for playing 300 games. I'm not going to get involved with the politics of it all, but you've got to congratulate the player on playing for 300 games. It's a lot of games. All right, guys, the Knights are running out of the field here. Flurry, you are a legend. We appreciate you, Flurry. Yes, Flurry, get around you. Uh, Jay Hayes is the first member. Jay, there you go. Jay gets the first member there. Fatima, Justin Tarkowski, George, uh, sorry, George, uh, Gage, Nuclear Sun, Ry, Ryder Granger, Paul Illing, Safad, Jasmine McKissy, uh, Tony Robinson, Sachin Kelson, not Sachin Kelson, Daniel Davies, Sachin Kelson. He interrupted that because he put in the on your flurry there, which was great of him. But uh, appreciate your flurry for the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you very much. Slavis is big on... <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm worried about what you're referencing there, Slaver. I'm worried about what you're referencing. I'm really, I'm really worried about your what you're referencing there. Well, there we go. Yeah, in your face. Yeah, exactly right. Sam Jenkins says hashtag rig. Jay says in your face. Dearie me, but all right. The Knights have kicked it off here, lads. The Knights have kicked it off, and the Roosters will get the ball. Daniel Tupo brings it out to the fifteen. To the fifteen. Uh, Sunday says, Roosters winning Manu Masterclass, hopefully. Uh, look, uh, Sunday, I wanted to tip you guys. I did. I wanted to tip the Roosters, but I just think your outs are too big, man. Like, having losing two of your spine, putting Connor Watson to the 5-8 because he's got no Sandon Smith, obviously. Um, Joe Manu is fine in the fullback, but in the same sense, he's still losing two of your spine. You're having to shuffle around. So I just think it's a little bit too hard, but I can see you winning it still. That's why I've gone Knights 1-12, and I, I do think there's value in the Roosters, but I, I just can't, especially in McDonald's Jones Stadium. If it's at Allianz, Maybe a different story, but at McDonald Jones Stadium, Newcastle, coming off a big win last week against the Dragons here. Uh, better conditions today. I don't know. I just feel like the Knights will be able to get up, but um, I do think there's a chance for the Roosters for sure. Uh, but all right, the Knights now. We'll grab this ball here at the 10. It'll be Caelan Ponga, who brings it out to the 15. Out to the 15. Call strikes. There's no Santa, no Walker, no Teddy, and Billy Smith, no Young. Just sad. You're forgetting Spencer Lanyu as well. No Santa Smith. No, Santa Smith is usually 14, so I'll, I'll include him. But no Sandon, no Walker, uh, Sam, Sam Walker, Teddy, Billy Smith, no Young, and also Spencer Lanyu, mate. So, yeah, third tackle of the Knights at 30. Uh, Andrew Thomas this morning, fella. Looking forward to the Roosters having a good kicking tonight. Got Brabham Best, first try score at 11-1, and Knights to be... By, Knights by 20 points. 20 plus points to 5-1 up the Knights. Uh, Roosters having a good kicking tonight. Oh, the Roosters to get whooped, basically, is what you're saying. I get what you're saying now. I thought you were saying they're going to have a good kicking game. I was like... Well, they've got no Sammy Walker, but they've still got Kiri, I guess. Ooh, Pong has been slapped there in the tackle. That's a penalty. No, I thought it was a late hit. But Joe Manu will grab that and bring it to the 25. I'm surprised it wasn't a penalty, especially with home field advantage. Uh, Olivia says, no worries. Just know you have a great army around you. No matter what people say, we'll have you back. Uh, I'll get my fry pan out if I have to and reset any of these keyboard worries. Yeah, no, it's, for, it's pretty full on to receive those kind of messages and whatnot. But at the end of the day... It's what, what you put yourself out there when you're doing content creation, you know? You know when you kind of get those kind of messages, it's um, it gets a bit rough, especially when your team is doing as badly as they are right now. Uh, but the the best way to show the Hayes man is to keep doing what you love and watch them, uh, force them to watch your success is what I say. And i got God by my side always. So, um, yeah, and i got you guys, so I appreciate you. So, fifth tackle now at the 33. Roos is at the 33. He kind of wants to roll back to Jennings. Jennings off to Kiri. Kiri puts that bomb up there. Let's see what the Roosters chase through. No chases, and Cameron Pong will grab that ball here at the 10. Aguero says, in my opinion, the Titans' back line should be Brimo, Loffy, Kelly, Jojo, Sammy, Campbell, and Forum. Uh, I'm not going to really get into that. Uh, obviously, if you want to, go put that comment on the Gold Coast Titans' frontline podcast, or you can send in a voice message. You can send in a voice message that we can answer next week. Uh, as long as there's no like swearing, and long as, as long as it's within reason, um, we do have the phone the frontline section of the podcast now where you guys can be involved and you can send a voice message into myself and Kalaki where we'll put it on the podcast next week. Um, and if you want to suggest that, we'll, we'll obviously discuss it on uh, next week's pod. Right hand side for the Knights, a good run here by Dane Gagai. Great little play there at the dummy roll uh, by Jaden Braley. So, fifth tackle here. Jaden gets it to the left hand side, Kalen Ponga, at the 40 on his own side of the field, and he'll whack this ball down to the corner. Slavis says, How can I send a voice message? You can't, mate. You're banned. <laughs> You're banned, son. <laughs> You're banned. No, but if you do, it's on the um, the link is in the description of the latest podcast on Spotify, Apple, and, uh, and YouTube. Roos is now to the 25. Uh, Similarly, he nearly got done for an obstruction early there. Uh, Sam says, can I please add misspelling of names to the five minutes in the bin list? No, no, because trust me, it happens a ridiculous amount. 
It happens a ridiculous amount, so no, everyone will be timed out. Everyone would have been. Mary Matatay with the five gifted memberships. Thank you very much, Mary. We really do appreciate your support. Marcel Musa, the dingo. See the dingo. Oh, Roos is away here. Oh, Watson, take another 40. Good run there. The dingo, uh, double Aaron, Luke the rat, and Benny. Oh, not Luke the rat. We appreciate you, Mary. Luke the rat, though. <laughs> he is a rat. Ponga here. Guess the off on the way to Bram and Best. And Best into the 20, 25. To the 30. It's still going at the 40. Still going at the 45. The 50 for Bram and Bess. Wow, wait. What a great run there by Bram and Bess. What a great run. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Mary. Uh, Luke the Rat, for anyone who doesn't remember, Daz mate, if he was here, he would say something there. He, Daz mate would have a bit of a crack at him. Uh, but <laughs> Luke the Rat is a Dragons fan that went off his rocker. Actually, against Roos. Actually, Sunday, you might remember Luke the Rat. You might remember him. So third tackle with a nice, and they're making some good meters here. Jaden Bradley, six again here. Jackson Hastings with the ball at 25. Kai Pierce Paul now. Oh, he's rocked kind of Watson. 20 meters out will be first tackle. First tackle there. <laughs> Jay just slapped him. I think he, I thought already thought he was. I'm surprised. I'm surprised the guy's still subscribed. I, I really am. I'm really surprised. That was years ago too. Hasn't commented since. When he went off his rocker, and I think it was the it was the Matt Lodge game. If you can, if you can remember at Sunday, I don't know if he's still here, but. If, Matt, if he can remember it, it was the Matt Lodge game where he just passed the ball and gave a freebie. Jackson Hastings! 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 Trots on! For the chooky 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 chooksters. Not the cool chooky chooksters, the Knights. I'm all over the shot. The chooksters got absolutely done. The Knights got a try there under the post. 4 0 here with a kick to come. Nui, 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 Knights. There we go. That's better. Nui, 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 Knights. And the Knights go over, Gage says. Yep, they do. And they roll down the field just then. Roll down the field. Tell you what, kind of Watson's been good to start this game. But unfortunately, the, the Knights just found that way too easy. I hate how I just ruined that by saying the chooky chooky chooksters. Because <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Mitchell says Dragons rob. Yeah, look, Dragons have been robbed of a try there. Yeah, because they're not playing. So, yeah, it's really difficult for them to score a try. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, keep a second, he says, Wild or Manly, great game. Really looking forward to streaming this game on Saturday. Haven't really had a good little think about it, uh, but I probably will go with the... Oh, that's a hard one, man. I don't know. I could nearly go Manly. That's a real hard one. I'll talk about that on Saturday. I could nearly go Manly, but we'll talk about that on Saturday. Services for serious questions, of course. Well, yeah, you can. You can uh, <laughs> scoop a man there, let's say. Scuba Man, Scuba Steve. Uh, Scuba Steve would be here, I reckon. Scuba Steve would probably be here. Um, but yeah, so it, honestly, it's on the description of the latest podcast episode. It'll be on every description of every podcast now, uh, whether that be on Spotify, Apple, or, or YouTube. And feel free, bro. Feel, feel free to send in a voice message. Uh, and it says some great support today. Love to see it. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, definitely appreciate the love and support from you guys. Uh, come on, Tuala or Ponga. That's right, you need Twala or Ponga to score first. Did you have Hastings as a try scorer, Sam? Andrew says, let's go having to rely on your comps today. They're not covering it on TV here. Well, I'm so sorry because I just went the chooky chooky chooksters and it was the Knights. <laughs> it was the Knights. Uh, Francois Nafahu says, nothing's better than the sombrero getting scored right now. Francois, you are the biggest Roosters hater and it's pretty funny. <laughs> Where's Best Sport? Get into him. Get into Best Sport 2.0. Get into Best Sport 2.0, mate. I see your comments on his. Um, I see your. I see your comments, man. It's um, it's good to see you're a passionate Rabbits fan, man. I like, keep keep it up, bro. Like obviously you're a bit further down in the dumps than you probably should be. <laughs> but with that being said, I understand you're disappointed with your team right now. Spider makes his didgeridoo. Mate, no didgeridoo today. No didgeridoo today. But Indigenous round was uh, a couple of weeks ago, Jim. Gee whiz, come on now. Should we say that's hit the roosters because my dumbass forgot how many players I have out? They do have about 34 million players out today. Yeah, sure. Uh, a little bit of shit out of luck there. Just a little bit of shit out of luck. And it says, whoever said no try in first five was right. Just. Oh, yeah, just. And they and that, I think that was Fatima, wasn't it? Fatima. Um, oh, Joe Manu grabs under a lot of pressure there at the 30. So first second of the roosters at 30. Fatima put that one in because that's usually quite a simple one. You know, first five minutes, you're not usually seeing a try. But it was just. It was just. Uh, Cage Bird getting around saying, let's go, baby. Flurry says, O'Brien will screw this team up and bring Gamble back. Well, Hastings has just scored the first try of the game, so you'd hope not. Third tackle over the Roosters at the 45. They're in decent field position here. It's just that that Knights try was way too easy. It was way too easy. 
And defensively, it was just not great there by the Roosters at all. Joe Marner with a great run into the 35. Now, you, and this is something that has a big, uh, I have a big grind with. Uh, not grind. Um, it makes me angry in regards to... But let's just have a look at this one. Goes here first. Ah, that's a good chase. That's a good enough chase there. So my biggest, I guess, pet peeve with the Titans right now was that Tanner Boyd, obviously I know Tanner well. Uh, he's a mate of mine. But Tanner Boyd gets all the blame. And now I'm not saying his kicking game's great by any means, right? He has not been good to start the season. I'll just straight up put that out there. But a lot of the issue as well is that fans don't understand that the kicks are usually only as good as your line speed, right? And getting up and, and keeping them in their 10, keeping them in their 20. So you want to be able to kick as far as you possibly can, <coughs> not necessarily directly into the throat of the fullback, right? But And you want to have a mixture of your, your kicks. But you want to kick as far as you can, but you need to put it up high so that your, your team and your players can get up with the ball. Let that side grab it best. Take out the 45. Good run, though. Fifth tackle. So that your players in a line can get up there. But unfortunately, our team's not actually giving him a lot of help in that regard. So he's getting a lot of blame from stuff that actually isn't on him necessarily. Although he is not doing great this season, and he is struggling to be the halfback post next week if he doesn't have a great game against Canberra this week. The fact of the matter is that this happens with a lot of clubs where you don't see the players actually follow up their kicks and then the half get back gets the blame for not putting in a good kick when it was probably fine. But overall, that's going to be an obstruction to the Knights. That's ridiculous, Roosters. That's ridiculous, Roosters. Yep, that is going to be an obstruction. So it'll be a penalty here to the Knights. They quick over the two here. It's right in front of about 30 hours. 30 minutes to go here in the first half, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. 30 minutes to go the first half, 10 minutes in. So yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve with rugby league right now is that yeah, fans don't understand that when a halfback kicks it or a player kicks it, it, it realistically is only... They're not going to give it a two, they're going to give it a try. It realistically is always only going to be as good if the team actually goes up and follows through. Exactly right. Mary Matataka, bingo. Titans need that Rocco Berry kick chase. That's a Rocco Berry fan club right there. Proud member. Proud member. So let that sign the night. Oh, jeez. Good running by Leo Thompson. He's just slammed one of the roosters down. Slapper, you are a machine. We love you, Slapper. You're a legend, brother. You're a legend. Right inside. I'll read it out in a second. The Knights are on the attack here, Tamiz. Yeah. We appreciate you, Slapper, bro. It means a lot. Second tackle, leave the Knights at the 10. I'll read out those gifted memberships after we go through this set. Second tackle, they go left-hand side here for the Knights. Gives off to Jack Cogger. Jack Cogger at the back to here to Dylan Lou. Uh, to Elliot. Elliot to Hastings. Hastings to Ponga. Ponga! Oh, great tackle there by Sue Lee, actually. Really good tackle. That's going to be third tackle. Or there might have been an elbow here. No, it's fine. Pong was grabbing at something. He wasn't happy about something. Adam Elliott taking down three minutes out of the line. Four tackle. Four tackle. They go right-hand side. Brayley off to Cogger. Cogger kicks it through. Good kick. Good chase. Oh! Dan Gagot. If Dan Gagot hadn't have accidentally kicked that over the dead ball line, he could have just put that down. Jeez, unlucky there for the Knights. Great kick, though. Knights are playing well here. Roosters are getting a little bit of slap and wound And as I say, that slap a gift to the 20 memberships. Camp Brody, Dean Fawcett, AK-12, Bear Flovlel, uh, Fernie, Fastest Kettle, Water Shorts, uh, Shady, uh, Rangi, Tyson Vlogs, Enjar, Ollie Van Beek, ZDT, Bonesy Boy. I don't think we've seen Bonesy Boy in a while. We Are Leeds, Cohen McEwen, uh, Isaiah Sky. Martin Waka Yoyona. Oh, Roosters. Oh, no, Roosters. Oh, they've given away a penalty for not taking the drop out in time. Oh, they've given away a penalty right in front of the post for not taking the drop out in time. Oh, my gosh, Roosters. This is a horror show. This is a horror show. It's a time violation. When was the last time we saw that? When was the last time we saw a time violation? They'll take the two of you. They'll take the two of you. It's going to be 8 0. This this is a this is a horror show, Roosters, right now. What's happening? Um, yeah, Martin Wakayoyona, Finn Grays, and Special Service Delivery all gifted memberships. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> this is a horror show. This is a horror show for the Roosters at the moment. Uh, a lot of lurkers there, Jay. Yeah, a lot of lurkers there. Son of a slapper is good. We all know. It. We all know slapper is the goat. Son, he's the goat. Call Shire says, let's go Slapper. Ray says, what teams could you see fire or lose a coach this season? If you're encouraging a response, I will not be answering that. Um, but I will answer outside of what you're probably trying to en en encourage and anticipate. Uh, because that is just not happening. <laughs> Des will be for three years. What is a club that I could see it happening with? Uh, Dolphins? That's a cop-out because Wayne Bennett's leaving at the end of the year. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, I can say Adam O'Brien. I, I know what's happening right now, but there is still... Oh, no, he re-signed. So no, Adam O'Brien, no. Um, with the way the season started off, it couldn't be Ricky Stewart. Uh, but he wouldn't have his head on the chopping block if they had a really struggle, but that's not looking likely right now. Uh, Benji's safe. Um, Ivan Cleary is obviously safe. Oh, Seraldo's a great shout. Seraldo is a real... Oh, Warrior Hargrave has come and whacked into Jacob Slavidi. Yes, that was a whack. That was an absolute whack. Uh, well, I'm glad that I uh, decided to tip the Knights over the Roosters right now. I'm pretty glad my tip 14 minutes into this game. So yeah, I'd go Seraldo is the highest of priorities at the moment. Brad Arthur would be there or thereabouts, depending on how this Eels season goes. Um, he is a shout if they want to go, but then the Eels fans, I, I feel sorry for you, man, because you're going to go into a complete rebuild, which is what a couple teams look like right now. Ponga here, Ponga gets away, Ponga steps at the halfway point, Ponga's at the 40, Ponga, oh, he's running for his own player on oh, Roosters. This is a horror show right now. You're having a, you're having an, a horror show of a start here. I kick this ball over the top. That's not obstruction. That's fine. It's on their score. And it's going to be Roosters to get the ball at the 10. You're lucky it's only 8-0 right now, Roosters. This is just wild. This is wild. Call strikes is what is this, bro? Welcome to my life for the entire year. <laughs> Love my boys, but I think I'm, I'm warranted to be able to be like, ah, oh, well, you know, I wish I could be seeing better right now. Yeah, exactly right, Fatima. Justin, Sundo. Close your eyes, son. Just listen to the stream, put it like this. But then a penalty, open your eyes. Come on, son, stop closing your eyes, mate. Watch the game, you know? Bruce's fan, stop closing it. Watch the game. Dear me, it's a penalty for your team. You're not out of it yet. Dear me. But it's a wonder what excuses Trent Robinson will come up with after this loss. And my guess is the field again. Hey, it was too rainy last week. Still soaked from, to this week. You know, that's the excuse. See? Thinking. Thinking. Uh, what other teams have I mentioned there? Yeah, Warriors are fine. Um, Sharks Fitzgibbon's fine Dragon's got a brand new coach He's fine Shane Flanner uh, I think it's only the Eels And the And the Dogs I think it's only the Eels and the Dogs That I can really think of So my head Give me a reason for anyone else Right inside Unless the Rays completely fall apart from here And come like bottom four Then Ricky Shield comes back to the equation But I think there's only two at the moment Left hand side now is Victor Radley because Radley gets the ball to the 10. Before, yeah, again, I'll answer it. Before anyone even thinks about Desi, Desi will not be leaving at any stage soon. <laughs> Kiri, left hand side here. Chancey, Sando, open your eyes, son. Open your eyes, Sando. Daniel Tupo score for the Chooky 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 Chooksters. There we go. <laughs> Goal strike says our attack is so flat as they go over for a try. 8 4 here with a kick to come. Sando, stop closing your eyes, mate, and watch the game. Siri me, mate. But Luke Keary, left hand side to Joey Martin. Martin with a great float pass across to Daniel Supo. Kieran Foran esque, mate. Kieran Foran esque. Try time for the Roosters. After such an awful start in his first 17 minutes, they're still going to be only down by maybe two points, uh, but at minimum only four points. I think that's a that's an actual. <laughs> that's pretty good for you, Roosters fans. And Cameron Ponga does look injured. I hope he's all right. I do. I, I pray that he's all right. Um, but, oh, good put down. But yeah, Ponga looks like he's a, a little bit wobbly at the moment. But about that and the Rabbitohs. Oh, Jason. Of course, Jason Demetrio. Sorry, I've, I'm already on the next step. I'm already thinking he's already gone. Demetrio, of course. Demetrio, of course. Uh, Olivia Reeds has got a ticket to the Dolphins Broncos game in August that the Dolphins host at Suncorp and accidentally must have got a one game membership got a members pack in the mail today from them I'm so sorry Olivia I'm so sorry so sorry so so I'm sincerely sorry that you've received a membership pack from the gig to care uh, Andrew Thomas says it's a great watch of your Roosters family well it is now <laughs> well it is now Olivia Reese, why did I think you were going to start singing Bohemian Rhapsody after saying open your eyes Hey, I love Bohemian Rhapsody. I love uh, that. That's a great movie. I love Queen. Queen is a great band. Uh, but they will miss the kick, and it will stay at a four. I just feel like I have a full bottle of Coke Zero, you son. Yes. Yes. Actually, by the way, Slapper, I fully expect you to send a voice message in next week now. I'm going to send it now. I fully expect that there will be a voice message from you next week, Slapper, because I know you're a Titans fan. I know you are, son. I know you are. You can't hide from me. You cannot hide. You cannot hide from me. 
Uh, Tupo has always been insane at those uh, sideline leap tries. Oh, I think I read Bean anyway. Uh, but yeah, no, he has. Oh, jeez, that's a massive collision there. Oh, I'll send one. Oh, no, Slapper. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Um, all right, let's go. And I've got to do my, my pending outcomes. Greg Martin has five possessions in the first 15 minutes. Has he touched the ball once in the first 15 minutes? <laughs> Has, has Greg Marcy touched the ball at all, lads? Player stats. Knights. Greggy Marcy, where is he? Greggy Marcy uh, has had one run for eight. So the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. Oh, no. So the Roosters now wake that ball up into the corner. Good chase through. And it will be grabbed by Kevin Palmer at the five. All right, so let's do another prediction now. And we're going to say... You know what? We're going to say Roosters score next. Ah, oh, that Roosters... Roosters take the lead with next try. That's a bold call considering how this game's gone. But I just feel like the Roosters are just going to find a way right now to um, to put themselves in the advantage despite being so far behind um, in this game so far. You know, they have been so awful in this game, and yet they're still only going to be... Oh, they had to convert. Oh, it's a knock-on Knights. Greg Martin, you knock on. Oh, no. Knights knock on here. Now it's a horror show for Newcastle. Now it's a horror show for Newcastle. Deary me. Deary me. What's wrong with you, Sam Jenkins? You just said I have sex daily, too. Are you, are you okay? Well, I, I don't I don't know if I want to be sleeping in the same apartment as you in Canberra, then, if that's the case. Gee whiz. I'm scared now. I'm scared now. Cage Bird says, where is Sam? Sam's there. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Sam uh, Walker, he's injured right now. He's injured. Roosters fans, how long is Sam Walker actually injured for? Is half a cheesecake too much? Hey, I like cheesecake. I like cheesecake. Look at me. Do I look like I don't like cheesecake? I like cheesecake. First tackle here. They go left hand side of Lindsay Collins. I'll tell you a funny story about that in a second, actually. 15 metres out, second tackle. Collins for the Roosters. Here we go, Roosters. Chucky fans. Well, with a party. What an awful 15 minutes has turned into potentially leading five minutes later. You couldn't have asked for a worse 15 minutes that potentially could be a leading try in just a few moments. Four tackle, here, four metres out here for the Roosters. Brandon Smith. Warrior Hargos fakes it. Kiri. Kiri gets it across into Jennings. Jennings. Oh, he's lost the ball. Oh, no. Womp, womp. Oh, no. Um... So yeah, knock on there from George, uh, not George Jennings. Best sport, that's your fault. Uh, from Michael Jennings there. And the Knights will get the ball here at the 10. Yeah, Ponga does look a little bit discomfort here. Uh, funny story, my ex uh, that you've actually seen on the channel actually when we uh, did videos together years ago, um, the mother of my child. We, uh, in Fiji, we would do like cheesecake hunting, right? But the funny fact is here is that that's Fiji and there is no cheesecake hunting in Fiji. So like it would be if we found one, it would be probably awful. <laughs> you can do it in America, you can do it in Australia, you can do it everywhere, but you can't do it in like an island country. So, but she didn't know any better. So I, I went along with it. I went along with it. Uh, Jai says, good set for the Roosters. Well, until the knock on, yes. Believe it or not, I don't actually live with Blaze. Good. Olivia says, I'm going to take it with me tomorrow and I'll throw it at someone on Caxton Street as we do our members march to the stadium. When you do your members march, do you do the do 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 You gotta do it. Do it for the culture, Olivia. Start thinking about the culture, you know? I'd do it. If I had something wrong with me. Jackson Hastings, he'll give it out. Oh no, best pit the grass. No, I can't wait to get to Suncorp Stadium this year and do the do 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 when we'll beat him. Just like we did last year. Yeah, I don't know why I've... Started having to go at the Broncos here. Olivia's a nice person. But all you other Broncos fans, tell you that, buddy. Adam, if you're watching, I love you too. But tell you that, buddy. <laughs> Jimmy James' is Ponger is injured. Yeah, Ponger's got a little bit of something, something happening right now. Slapper says, excuse me, I forgot where the link is to send a message. Well, you should be subscribed to the podcast, son. You should be subscribed to the podcast, Slapper. You should know where the link is. You should know where the link is, buddy. Yeah. Daniel Tupo gets his ball here to the 48, third tackle. Uh, Andy Thomas' Ponga doesn't look well. He'll be off soon. Brandon Smith, great run here. Joe Martin gives it up to Kieran. Kieran's away here. He's got Radley. 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 Toronto on the roost. going to take the lead. Oh, 
The Roosters are going to take the lead. It's 8-8 eight, eight with the kid to come from right in front. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, nice. What happened? Great run by Brandon Smith right up the guts. Give it up to Marlon. Marlon with a great offload there to Kieran. And Kieran just had Radley there. And Gago couldn't get him. And Radley's going to score in the post here. It's going to be 10-8 to the Roosters. This has turned into a good game, which was a horror show for the Roosters for the first 15. A horror show. And now it's a horror show for the Knights. It? It's just a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of this and a bit of that. But like, different me. <laughs> someone has put on TBC Live, someone has put try converted. You reckon? <laughs> you reckon, buddy? You reckon try converted? So Roosters set the lead for the next try. Bang. Bang. Well, Roosters held on at six and a half points first half. That's a no on TBC Live. That's a no. Sunday says, let's go, call strike. Hey, get a room, Sunday. Get a room, you latte sippers. <laughs> get a room. Jai says, great play. Uh, Mariba says, I think Newcastle Knights is winning tonight. Well, they're not winning right now. They're down 10-8 with 16 minutes to go here in the first half. Jay says, cheesecake hunting is code word, obviously. You need help. You need help. You and Slapper and Sam all need help. First, I hear from Slapper saying he's going to send a voice message and he's talking about Bunda, right? Then I hear from Sam Jenkinson, who I'm staying in an apartment this week, Airbnb down there in Canberra, that he has sex daily. And now i got Jay talking about code word for cheesecake hunting. What have we got? What's, what's happening here? You know? What, what, what are we doing here? What, what, what are we doing here? We're watching some rugby league or we've got like a peep show going on? You know, like <laughs> 16 minutes to go in the first half. I'm worried about my community. I'm worried about what community I've built here on Big House Sport at this point. <laughs> so first tackle with the Roosters and now at the 20. Uh, you also have mail. Oh no. Oh no. Olivia says, all I know is there's going to be drums and a march. Hey, 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 hey. No drums, Broncos fans. Don't you steal from me. I've had so many insults over the last 14 years about the drums as a Titans fan. There's no way Broncos fans are taking a drum. You know what, Olivia? You're the only person that's allowed to take the drum. You. Not anybody else. No, not anybody else. Because I know you haven't insulted me about my drum, but Broncos fans, I know you have. They go left-hand side here, the Roosters, and they kick this ball into the corner, and they'll go out about the 10. So, Roosters are really, you know, slapping it down right now. They're really slapping it down. I sent my message. Hope you enjoy. It'd be funny if Clarkie... Here's it first, right? Because we obviously both have the, the login details for it. It would be very funny if Clarkie hears it first. It would be very funny if he goes and checks it out. Because he doesn't know that I'm obviously talking to you guys right now. Well, he knows, but he doesn't know that we're talking about this. Ponga won't last much longer, no Chase says. Well, that is bad for super coach users everywhere. Who's not named Big House Sport because I do not have Pong on my team. Where's all those people from last week laughing at me now? That I didn't have Pong on my team. Hey? Hmm. But I do hope he's the right man. You, you want to see the best of the best play, you know? And, and Ponga is an electric player. Four tackle, and the Knights were taking out the feed three. Ah, I knew I should have tipped the Roosters. I said before the podcast, as I said before the stream, and then I said Knights won 12, and then I was happy with the Knights prediction, and now Knights are now making me regret that prediction. So maybe if I say I regret my decision, I should have gone with the Roosters, that was a bowl to play, then maybe the Roosters start falling apart and the Knights come back into the game. Maybe if I do that... A little bit of hoodoo gurus, you know? A little bit of hoodoo gurus. Roosters get taken out at 30 here. First tackle. Andrew Thomas says... <coughs> I'm sorry. Knights look out on their feet. Fitness levels are shocking and they've only played 25 minutes. Last week would have taken a lot out of them, but the Roosters are just... It's ingrained in the culture of the club, right? Six again here for the Roosters at the, at the 45. On their own side of the field. It's ingrained in the culture, man. Like, they got embarrassed and humiliated last week. Oh, Gagai, nice hit there. But Crichton gets away from him. Oh, and then get taken down. Good chase there from Gaga to make sure he didn't get away uh, and not giving up on the play. Um, yeah, the Roosters have an ingrained culture to, to bounce back from an embarrassing, humiliating loss like last week. And that's why I gave him a good shout. I said the value was there. I just thought that with all the players out the Roosters had, I, I doubted it. But look at them. Left-hand side now. They're at the 30. Manu, 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 Manu. Take about the 10, four tackle. Roosters are on the chalk. Connor Watson. No, 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 no. Knock on. Knock on. 
Mark Lewis says, what about guitar and small amp? What are you talking about? What? What? What do I have? What? Oh, it was a, it was a, a mistake by the Knights, apparently. I don't know what happened there. So, five metres out here. Brandon Smith with the ball's first tackle. You can see Blaze playing country music. Country road. I don't know, that's all I know. <laughs> that's a great song, but... Take me home to a place. That's not the tune, but you know what I'm trying to sing. Third tackle. It's really hard doing that while commentating. Oh, now Lindsay Collins has knocked on the ball. Now Lindsay Collins knocks the ball on. So it will be nice ball now at the 10. Country road. Take me home to a place. I belong. West Virginia. Ha, 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 ha. Take me home. Country road. See? I knew it. I knew it word for word, every every single word of it. Uh, Mitchell says, Blocker is also allowed to take the drum. No. No, Mitchell. Mitchell, no. No. Knights now, right hand side, and they'll get this ball out of the 15. It'll be first tackle. Uh, Hayley Murray says, Please don't give up your day job. Country road, take me home to a place I belong. Virginia. That's a great song. Hope I did justice. Third tackle now at 30. Knights will go left hand side for Jackson Hastings. Hastings got Kai Pierce Paul. Pierce Paul taking that at the 43. Great run for tackle. I'm a songbird of our generation, Jay. So you see Haley there. That's Antonio's wife. And, and, and Haley is a great singer, Jay. You should actually go and check out her, um, her YouTube. I right know you can hear her sing. She's actually a good singer. Legit. She's a good singer. I'm not even taking the piss this time. Or am I? Go and check it out. Fifth tackle here, 10 minutes to go in the first half. Guys, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Roosters with the ball at the 15. And it's going to be Joey Manu. Taking down to the 25. He's having a good game, Joey Manu. Sam Jenkins says, Gold Coast needs to hire that bird from Melbourne Victory to start her home games. Yeah, she was good. Very, very good. Oh, here we go, Roosters. Taking down to the 40. Oh, of course you do, Jay. Of course. See, Haley, Jay already knew you were a singer. Jay, or give her a rating out of 10, Jay, in regards to the singing. Third tackle here. At the 45, they go right inside. I don't think Haley realized her mistake when she commented about my uh, giving up my day job. Fog for singing. I don't think she realized that the moderators can click onto her profile and go have a listen. Maurice <laughs> is now taking down to the 20. It'll be fit tackle. What about singing commentary? Man, we're doing it. Fit tackle here. It's Kiri. Kiri's going to kick this ball. Whoa. End up being okay. Didn't look great at first. Tupo gives it off. And now Tuala gets the ball. And it will be ninth ball at the 15. Nice, are still sticking it. Still sticking it. What a song. Kingsman 2. Yeah, rip that guy in the bushes. We don't know his name, but... Rip, you know. Rip. Slava says, you're a songbird. Don't listen to the haters. Listen, we try. You know, I do uh, singing lessons every day. Every single day. Third tackle for the Knights. They go right inside to Sakfidi. We'll get this ball here to the 40. The 40, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't say it's a real arm wrestle, this one. I'd say this, this point of the game is a massive arm wrestle, but I wouldn't say it's a... I, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Singing Blaze is better than Block and Roach commenting. Commentating. Listen, busy lad, I'm not going to disagree. I don't think I will disagree. No, let me have to think about it. No, I will not disagree. No, 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 no. So we roosters. Joe Martin taking down at 25. Andrew Thomas' body hell has the Knights coaching team told them to not put their shoulders into the tackle. They just... Way too passive indeed. I don't know what's happening with the Knights. This is why I wasn't convinced before the stream. I wasn't convinced in the Knights, but I tipped them based on the Roosters out. But I wasn't convinced in them. And six again here for the Roosters at the 45. <laughs> Taz, mate. Terrell May. He'll get his ball to the 50. It'll be first tackle now. What's happening there, Jay, by the way? I know you know what I'm referring to. What's happening? What is happening with those? <laughs> what is happening with those ones? Second tackle at 30. I'm a little bit perplexed about it. A little bit perplexed. So right hand side, and Joey Manu is going to get this ball to the 20. What a run! Oh, he's 15 minutes out. Third tackle. Roos is scoring the set. Roos is scoring the set. Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith. Scored right there. Uh, that was very obviously coming. That was very, 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 very obviously coming. And the Roosters will score right next to the post. Brandon Smith. <laughs> I'm unsure myself also. Do you miss arm wrestling, Jay? Do you miss arm wrestling? 
That defense was absolutely pitiful, but that's also how they scored their first try here, the Roosters. Brandon Smith is catching them right underneath that ruck area. He's finding... What was the game last week? Rabbitohs Warriors, was it? Was it Rabbitohs Warriors where the Warriors keep going? No, it was the Storm. Storm vs. Broncos and the Storm in the first half just kept going through the ruck, going underneath, find that hole right on below. Uh, and, and I don't know what Adam Elliott was doing just then, but that was just way too easy. Way too easy. Best sports of that was the most embarrassing defense I've ever seen. Yeah, it, it's poor. Yeah, yeah. It's poor. And this is exactly what the Storm did the Broncos in the first half last week before the Broncos clocked onto it. Seb Watson says, not too many vlogs on the old BKR singing YouTube. Or oh, the old BRK singing YouTube. Yeah, not on BRK, BKR. Massive vlogs to be singing. Massive vlogs. I'm collaborating with the Hayley Marie next week. Manly game. The Hayley Marie. Dan says, what was that defense? It wasn't, is my answer to that. No, 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 it wasn't defense. No, 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 it was not. No, it was not. You know what I'm really looking forward to? The fact that I don't have to wake up at like three in the morning to travel tomorrow. My flight's not until like one o'clock. So I'm pretty happy that I can actually have a nice little sleep. I don't know what Adam Elliott was just doing. That was weird from Adam Elliott. That was, that was weird from Adam Elliott. <laughs> So Ali'i makes the conversion. And it's 16-8 here with seven minutes to go to the first half. Well, if you tip the Knights, you would have been pretty happy after the first 15. You would have been very confident. And then uh, you'd now be pretty confident you're wrong. <laughs> Call strike, this is why we signed Smithy. Those awesome dummy half runs. Call strike, you've gone from hating your team 10, 15 minutes ago to now the best player ever is Brand Smith. <laughs> I think Knights fans should close their eyes. Yeah, listen, Fatima, ever since you told Sano to close his eyes, the Roosters have gone right. The Roosters have gone right since then. So now, Fatima, find the Knights fan in the chat, Fatima, and tell him to close their eyes. So Terrell May brings his ball out here to the 15. And Thomas says, the Knights defensive line is like watching a line dancing team. Looks good, but is totally pointless. Does it look good? Does it? Unreal defense there by the Knights. Mitchell says, yeah, it was very good. Very nice. Very nice. They're not having a good night right now. The Knights. They're not having a good night. Third tackle. Clark, he's had a bad influence on me. Fourth tackle here at the 45. Dadma says, Newcastle. 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 Get into him, Daz. Fire up, son. You know? Fire up. Jai says Ponga needs to go off. Yeah, you can very clearly tell that Ponga is struggling right now. Who would you put back there under the fullback, though? I just don't know. Maybe Inari Tuala? Who do they have? Yeah, Inari, Inari Tuala. Uh, you're not taking any of Gagai, Bradman, Bess, or Marcy back there. Um, you'd have to go with Tuala. You would have to go, and then you'd have to shift Dylan Lucas into the centers. Penalty to the Knights. They'll love that. They'll love that. You would have to shift... To out of the fullback, you probably have to push Dan Gagai to the wing, and then you probably have to push Dylan Lucas into the centres. That's what you'd probably have to do if Pat Ponga does come off you. That's probably what you have to do. This allowed to Gavin Cooper. Not too sure what that means, though. Uh, Olivia says, have you got any plans of Canberra yet? Um, besides uh, give Clark your slap across the cheek? Uh, no. No, not yet. I want to go to Questacon. I want to relive my year seven youth. Second tackle of the Knights of the 40. I want to uh, go to the War Memorial. We're staying pretty close to the War Memorial too. Uh, especially considering Anthony Day's coming up soon. Well, that would be good to do. Knights here. They're 20 metres out of the line. Four tackle. Uh, but obviously I'm streaming tomorrow night and Saturday night, right? So I can't do too much in the night. I can on Sunday though. It's going to be a fun time. Especially when we win, son. Oh, ho, ho. You guys know what will happen. If Dave Fafita scores and we win... Oh. Canberra, look out. Left down side here, Jackson Hastings at the 10. Gives it up to Pierce Paul. Kai Pierce Paul, it's a fifth tackle, buddy. Hello, champion. It's a fifth tackle, mate. It's a fifth tackle. I don't know what happened there. Going to do a nerdy run through Parliament. I'm not ruling it out, is what I'll say. I'm not ruling it out, Albo. Anthony Albanese, I will not rule it out. Olivia said, going to do a nerdy run through Parliament. Not ruling it out. Second tackle now. At the 15. Uh, Mitchell says, nobody cares about the Knicks anyway. We're all here to see Snorkel Man. Who's talking about the Knicks? What about the Knicks? I don't know. Yeah, this is McDonald Jones, Flo. 
Four tackling out of 35. Who's talking about the Knicks? Someone talking about the Knicks? Who cares about the Knicks besides Winston Neville? <laughs> Fifth tackle now. 45 Mays out for their own line. Yeah, Manu is having an unbelievable game for that fullback. He is having an unbelievable game. Knights, not Knicks. Yeah, what's it? What, Mitchell? Dear me, you know? Did we expect better from you? I don't know. Is the answer to that one? I don't know. First over the Knights at the 23. Jackson Hastings goes right inside to Brevin Best, and Brevin Best will get his ball out to the 30 now, second tackle. Ramos and says, haven't seen any of the game. Do you think Newcastle have a chance of having them a multi? Mate, they were up 8 0, and they were killing it. The Roosters were awful, and the Knights were looking great. And then the Knights just said, you know what? Game over, mate. And just let the Roosters run back into the game. Four tackle of the Knights at the halfway point. I don't think the Knights are out of it. Not looking great, but they're not out of it. It's only eight points. Left hand side, Jackson Hastings. Hastings and Kai Pierce Paul. Kai Pierce Paul's away here. Kai Pierce Paul's away here. Look at the big man go. He steps around Manu. Gets off Manu. Gets off the Ponga. Ponga to Bradman Best. Bradman Best. Bradman Best. Bradman Best. Try it, Tom. And that's what I was just saying. The Knights are not out of it yet. And they score a try. And they get right back into the game. 16 12 here with the kick to come. Oh boy. Chuggies, what happened? Chuggy, chuggy, what happened? Thank you very much to Kai Peace Paul, the big old English man. Super coach, super coach, super, super, super coach, super coach, super coach, super, super, super coach. Cheers to you, Mr. Kai Peace Paul, for my super coach. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Flying crooks, Paul Matuno says. Yeah, well, they're crook right now. They just can see they're trying. Hey, Fatima, keep doing the good work. Keep doing the good work. When Fatima said to Sando, close your eyes. Sando closed his eyes and the Roosters end up coming back to the lead 16-8. But now Fatima said to close the eyes for the Knights fans. And now it's about to be potentially 16-14. Knights come back. It's all down to Fatima right now. It's all down to Fatima. Don't forget, go check out TBC Live, guys. The pinned comment in the chatola. In the chatola. <laughs> so I'm going to send a message Mr. Rando listen here champion I've seen on your post there your Patreon post that you have said all these negative things about the Titans now although they might be true <laughs> I cannot do it until we beat the Raiders and when I beat the Raiders when we beat I don't know why I said I but when we beat the Raiders mate dearing me dearing me I don't know what I'll say I don't know what I'll do I don't know if I'll survive and I'm coming for you son I'm coming for you, Rando. That's the random stats guy that I'm talking to there, guys. Uh, so I'm meant to go here the first half. 16 12 to the Roosters. Knights to make a conversion here. It's Dane Gagai kicking. And Dane Gagai hitting. It's 16 14. He gets a kick. 16 14 here to the Roosters. But the Knights only down by two now. Richard Rikers says, Evening, Pico. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. We'll see you on Saturday for the Waz. Taking on Menly. Menly, Menly, Menly. If Titans hit 50 versus the Raiders, can we get a sleep stream? Aguero, if the Titans hit 50 against the Raiders, you can have a sleep stream, right? Because <laughs> we've never actually hit 50 in our entire history. So you'll love it. You can have it. Nate Chase Albo will love it. Can't complain, you know? 56 seconds to go in the first half. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Check out TVC Life. I need more cheesecake flurry. Flurry. I tell you what, mainly next week at home, I expect cheesecake from you. I'm not going to lie. I expect cheesecake. So first tackle, and it's going to be Knights. Now second tackle at the 25. This is actually ended up being a good game. Offload there, and now it's going to be... Uh, is that Croker? Matt Croker? Not Jared Croker. At the 35 here, now the 40. Kai Pierce Paul starting to crush him. What is this game right now, dude? What is this game? Go for the two-point field goal, Hastings. Go the, no, go for the two-point field goal, you cats. Go for the two-point field goal. Come on. 40 metres out. Take the two-point field goal. Go for it. Have a crack, Hastings. Oh, he's in position. He's going for it. Two-point field goal. Jay! Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's missed it. I blame Jay Hayes for that. Gage okay, says, is it always amazing watching a forward make a line break? Oh, it is always amazing watching a forward make a line break. I was going to be like... I was, I was like, why is that a question? Uh, but yeah, no, I agree, Gage. I agree. I agree, especially with Kai Pierce Paul when he's in my super coach. 
But there we go. 16-14 at half time here to the Roosters. What a topsy-turvy half, man. The Knights led 8-0. The Roosters looked absolutely dreadful and awful for the first 15 minutes of this game. And I thought that... And everyone thought this was just going to be a blowout to the Knights. And then the Knights just completely fell asleep. They closed their eyes. And the Roosters decided to come back and lead 16-8. to And then the Knights, right before half time, started to dominate. And now it's 14-16. Roosters way. But the Knights are by two now. This game has just been so... Up and down, up and down, in about, shake it all about. You know what I'm saying? This game is just wild right now. But good game here for Thursday night. Every Thursday night game has been great so far this season. Every Let's go back and have a look at it here quickly. Every Thursday night game so far this season. So, obviously, we've got this game. Last week, we had the 34-32 between the Storm and the Broncos. Um, the round four. 22-16 uh, of the Panthers and the Roosters. Maybe that wasn't the greatest there. Uh, oh no, Panthers Bronco. Well, they've had good. They've had good setups for the games, all right. They've had good setups because these two games, these teams are actually like good teams, though, right? Um, Broncos, okay, but they're all big teams, okay? Is what we'll say. They're all big. They're all big teams. They're, let's just, let's just. There we go. But next week, Roosters play the Storm on Thursday as well. Roosters play the Storm, which will be a big one. And then, oh, and then we've got the Warriors playing the Titans. You can't ask them better than that. No, you cannot. No, no. Everyone's begging for it. So please, please give us more Titans games. Don't worry, we'll do it for you. We'll do it for you. But there you go, guys. Half time, 16 14 to the Chooka 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 Chooksters. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for new round tier. Go check out TPC Live. Get around him. Uh, and let's go and have a look at what uh, I need to. I'll claim my half time bonus. I've claimed my half time bonus on TPC Live as well. Get me my points, son. My points, Jennings throwing a game milestone not mentioned on commentary. I don't think that's happened yet. I don't think that's happened. A McDonald's ad in the next five minutes. Yeah, we'll vote on that one. We'll say yes to that little bad boy. Uh, don't let me go. Don't let me go. I'll vote yes. I don't even know what that means. By power premiers. Two point field goal. I'm going to vote no. There we go. There we go. Daz says shit kick from the heart and soul of Newcastle. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Thomas says, "Nice to see uh, Welsh qualified, the Welsh qual, oh, the Welsh qualified Bradman Best finally turning up to the party. Mate, it's the best party. Taking the barley with you." Nothing says Channel Nine had to call Roosters game and not uh, call Channing's name once. Pathetic, ain't their call? Uh, I don't think either Fox or Nine has, and they they would have been instructed to. They would have been instructed to. Olivia says, "People want to watch you sleep." Some weird people, Olivia. Some some strange people. Yeah, yeah. Just ask Blitzy. He'll ask for a feat stream soon. Uh, Flurry says, KPP from the same place as my SIL. Uh, Jai says, yeah, not a bad game. Well, so Kyle Pong is actually related to Antonio, for people who don't know. So you might not know this. I don't know if he would have said this to you on stream, but uh, Kyle Ponga is actually... Um, I know Flurry's referring to Kai Pierce Paul, but Kyle Pong is actually related to, to Chihuahua Boy, you know, by the way, for people who don't know. Uh, Jai says, yeah, not too bad of a game. Thought it was going to be a sleeper. Christian Kerr says, have the commentators been told not to acknowledge Jennings 300 or something? I feel bad for him. Yeah, of course they would have been, bro. Of course they would have been. Of course they would have been. Uh, yeah, Flurry, no to those comments. No to those kind of comments, man. Let's keep it Let's keep it PG rated. Maybe M rated. That's R rated, that comment. So let's keep it at least M rated uh, on, this, <laughs> on this, this chat, please. Uh, Noah Uasa says Gagai to play fullback if Ponga is out I don't agree I think that you put a Nari Tuala back there and then you shift uh, potentially Gagai to the wing and then D Dylan Lucas to the centre but I guess you could put him back there into the fullback position uh, but I just think maybe oh, you, you may go Dan Gagai if you do that it's just a simple shift of Dylan Lucas into the centre so maybe that takes away that takes a lot yeah it takes a lot of pressure off of that but it will really <clears throat> it really sucked that to take Ponga off because he just set up a trisis. He's got a trisis. Actually, who do I have playing in this game, Mr. Coach? He sleeps through anything. What's happened? It's it's killing Tuala's points. Um, let's go have a look here who I've got here today. <clears throat> I've got oh, Pierce Paul 54. I'm hating that I reserved Terrell May right now because he's on 11 points. That's not looking great. That's not looking great. Uh, but I am taking the 54 points from Kai Pierce Paul at half time, especially with the break in from 30. So he's already making some good money. Some moolah moolah, baby. The only other option I had to reserve this week was Jack Bostock against the Broncos. So I'm kind of okay that I've gone with Terrell May. But Bostock still on base stats alone probably should cop up what Terrell May's on target for. 
I've captain drink water this week against Parramatta, but I've gone with Jerome Hughes as the vice captain. Then we'll just loop him. We'll just loop. Um, if it, if uh, Jerome Hughes goes off against the Dugga Dugga Wolf tomorrow. Sam says, I knew I should have sold that Maymar. But yeah, I was thinking it too. Um, I was thinking it too, but I brought in... Who did I bring in this week? I brought in Adam Fedor Blake. I uh, wanted to really short because I've got Hazleton, right? And I have Sam Hughes and Terrell May. And I didn't really have a great other... I had like William Fafita, right? So I had a really weak front row. Um, I had a great score. I went up like 30,000 positions last week in Supercoach. Uh, but I had a really... Sam Hughes killed it for me, obviously. Um, Terrell May let me down again. But I need to shore, shore it up. So, yeah, I've got Adam Fennell Blake, uh, who I brought in. And who else did I bring in? Oh, James Schiller. With a break even of minus 117, I know it's against my team, but also I'm going to be realistic. And with, if the Raiders play like they have been, and the Titans play like they have been, then Schiller's going to absolutely crush it, make a whole bunch of money, right? Uh, and can get a high score. So it's, it's a no-brainer, right? It's It's a... It's a win-win in a way. Uh, it's not a win-win because I don't want the Titans to lose. But at the end of the day, if the Titans lose, Schiller probably goes off. Uh, Bits of lads just like Blaze on a stream. <laughs> um, that's definitely your mate, Jay. Jay, that is 100% your mate. That is 100% your mate. 100%. No, he also says Manu is so good at fullback, man. Yeah, he has his games, though. Like, at fullback, he has his games. Uh, yeah, there you go, Jay. And you, yeah, yeah, your mate, your mate, your mate. Uh, it just, Manu has his game. Sometimes he can be a little bit missing at fullback, but for the majority, yeah, he has some massive games in fullback too. We all remember what he did for New Zealand a couple of years back. Was it last year or two years ago? Uh, I think it was two years ago because it was New Zealand versus Tonga. It was before the World Cup. It wasn't the same years. Oh, that could have been 2021, maybe. Jeez. How many years ago was that, like mid season uh, internationals? I think that was two, three years ago, maybe now. Was that 2021? Was that 2021? Um, uh, <laughs> Flores says, so did I. Both mates killed me. My front row is dead, so I got Nico. Oh, you've got Taylor May. Okay. Yeah, Taylor May never really kind of lit it up. I never even thought about getting Taylor May this year. They love going down the opposite side. Mitchell says, where's Brand when you need him? Uh, just wait for a bad referee call or a. Very mediocrely, sub potentially controversial call, and you'll see Brent pop up. Don't worry. Brendan Kipper Lance is pogging with his injuries. The guy always has something falling off, costing me money. That's kind of why I stayed away from Ponga. Uh, but yeah, like it's, it's really frustrating because Ponga at his best is unbelievable. Uh, is, is unbelievable, and you want him to be coach, but I just don't think uh, he's still got tries just for you. He has still got tries this for you. What's he on right now? Uh, Cameron Ponga currently is on 40 points. You will take it if that's what you get. Like, if he comes off here at half time because of the injury, you will take it. He's break even 33. He's not actually going to lose your money. He's already gone above his break even. Uh, but you're not going to see much more out of him. Martin's on 66 points, coach wise. Hastings, 57 with a try, obviously. Brandon Smith, 57 with a try. I originally had Brandon Smith in my super coach team, but I went away from him pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Mr. Lazarus, give it a break. Um, <laughs> give it a break, Zach. Uh, Mitchell says, we're missing his halftime therapy lessons. Uh, Christian says, I hope the Roosters... Um, I hope the Roosters lose so I can see Hainsy having a whinge. <laughs> the good old Hainsy, son. Good old Hainsy. Well, he's... I think he's streaming right now, too, isn't he? I think he's streaming right now, too, at the moment. I don't think this person recognises, right? The, the person who's being hidden on the channel at the moment, they, they will hide every single one of your 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 accounts. So that, it doesn't matter. You can have a million, you can have a trillion different fake accounts. And I'm telling you, Jay and Sando and whatever moderator is here, whoever's here, will slap you into oblivion. They don't care. They enjoy it. They have fun hiding you. And I have fun watching you get hidden. So, like, <laughs> Bryson Carney says, Knights fell asleep. Uh, yeah, but they woke up in the late, the late part of the first half. Late part of the first half. Let's go make a couple predict predictionos. A couple predictions on the halftime show. So, um, 10 minutes. Predict anything. Oh, Jay, we're actually, yeah, we're going to regret Sunday. Um, <laughs> uh, hard time prediction. So what we're going to say? We're going to say 
Knights score first to take... No, you know what? Knights score penalty to equalise at 16-16. There we go. We'll predict that bad boy. Knights score first to equalise at 16-16. And then... I think... I don't know if I'm having any timer right now. Any timer... We'll go with... Who are we going to go with? We'll go with KPP anytime try scorer second half. Anytime try scorer second half post, bang, done. That's Kai Pete's Paul anytime try scorer second half. Flurry says Jack Hetherington is doing better than May. Jack Hetherington, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, Chase, this must suck being a troll and only having one device. <laughs> Uh, Sando says, I don't understand. Say something interesting at least next time. Sando, that's Jay's mate. It's his best mate. Uh, Bizzard Lads is the guy who's making them accounts either a Rabbits fan or a bored Dubbo person. He's actually a Roosters fan. Josie Sutherland says, do you think Ponga will be back? Uh, I don't know, to answer your question. I would doubt it. I would doubt it because he does look like he's in pain. So I would, I would doubt it, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but, yeah, it's, um... Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, rhymes. Yeah, yeah, rhymes. Rhymes, rhymes, rhymes for sure. But it's still half time here, guys. Schmackaruno thumbs up and Schmackaruno subscribe. And don't forget, I will be streaming both games tomorrow. We will be here uh, for the Storm vs. Bulldogs at 6 p.m. Well, I'll be here at 5.30 p.m. from Canberra. And Broncos vs. Dolphins, we will be streaming as well, obviously. Uh, Bryson Carney says Latron Mitchell three weeks suspended. Yeah, Latron needs to have a pretty good look at himself in these next couple of weeks. And like I will, I support Trell. You know, I, I think that um, he has unfortunately, I think he's copped so much criticism over the last couple of years, and some of it unnecessary, some of it necessary. Uh, but I think that he's copped so much criticism that it's finally gotten to him. And I message, I sent him a message today actually. It's just saying like, you know. Much love, dude. I know, especially with what I went through last week, right? Um, and what I do go through and stuff like that. Not on his level, um, but in the same sense, I can understand that although we're not on the same level in that regard at all, right? Very significantly different. The fact of the matter is I can I can put my brain where his brain would be in regards to all the hate that he receives. And I think that he's, he's kind of feeling it this year. So I sent a message today just saying, like, much love, dude. You know, I know the world seems like it's all against you, but not everyone is. Uh, but he does need to have a good hard look at himself in regards to some of the things that, you know, does encourage a little bit of the hatred and whatnot that people do bring out. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah, sure it isn't. You Ben? You Ben, are ya? Yeah, nice Ben. We'll see you on your next fake account in a second. Uh, Bizzle Lad says, getting boring fake big ball. I don't think you realise to the to York, bro, we don't care, mate. We're going to hide your accounts. We don't find it funny. We don't find it fun. We, well, the moderators do. I don't care. I'll just ignore all your comments, bro. So, like, you can keep posting all your random fake comments, bro. No one gives a shit. So, we're going to get back to the game. We're going to read the actual comments out. Uh, Noah Uwasa says, Hope Jai Gray perform as well so we can keep that fullback position and push trail to the centers. I would love to see that, Noah. Yeah, that's that's a great call. That is a great call. That is a fantastic call. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I've been wanting to see that for a... Um, for a long time, you don't, don't even you don't even interact with it now, Jay. Just bloody hide him. Otherwise, it'll just they, the guy thinks it's hilarious. Um, so sixteen forty in the Roosters. Knights coming out of the field now. Knights coming out of the field. Someone just obviously told uh, Greg Martz your joke. Uh, oh yeah, my boy from Zakynthos in Greece, the big fella. One forty nine p.m. Get a dragon storm lake and around the dragons in Zakynthos, Greece. We appreciate you, Mister Oya. Get around it, Oya. He's tuned in for this one. Surprised. Considering, obviously, the Knights were the team that beat the Dragons last week and put the sword to them. Uh, but at the end of the day, Rebel League is Rebel League. Get around it. Get around it. Second half about to start here, guys. Second half about to start. What was the predictions that I had on TPC Live again? Hectic Fred said, Roosters score first try in second half. I'll vote against you. No try score in the first three minutes. Oh, of course, Hayden. Of, uh, entertain us. Of, of course, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, whiz, Hayden. She whiz. Uh, the legend himself. Yes, Sachin. He is a legend. The old Oya. He is a legend. So, Kalaponga now. Gets it off to Saifidi to the 15. 
That'll be first tackle here for the Knights. Now, they're only down by two, so it is a very interesting game here. It is a very interesting game. Second tackle here for the Knights at the 20. Now to the right inside of Matty Croker, and Croker will get this blow at the 30. I can see this game. Imagine this game going extra time. I can see a world that happens with the way that it's gone back and forth, back and forth. I can also see a world where either team wins 13+. plus. It's crazy, this game. It's, it's been really weird, but enjoyable, too. Four tackle here. Braley, that should be six again, really. No, apparently not. He definitely wasn't a uh, square marker, but okay. Ponga off to Jack Cogger, and Cogger into the corner. Oh, Ponga doesn't look good, bro. you got to take him off, man. He's wincing in pain. Take him off the field, Adam O'Brien. Docks of the Newcastle Knights, man. Tell Adam O'Brien to take Callum Ponga off the field. Slapper says, Roosters look better without Walker. <laughs> you could make the argument, man. I don't want to shit an injured player, but you could make the argument right now. But then again, the Roosters haven't been a solid product throughout the entirety of this game here. You know, the first 15, they were awful. And then the next 10, they were fantastic. And then... The last five, they're going back to awful. So, I don't know. Don't want to risk a worse injury for Ponga. Yeah, I agree. Especially if there's a breakaway. Like, right now, potentially. Angus Crichton. He's at the 30. He offloads at the back end of Kiri. Kiri's taking at the 20. Now he's a liability in regards to those situations. So, it says, who cleared Ponga? He looks, still looks bad. I'll tell you from my experience. Like, Phil Sat. Oh, here we go. They're kicking across here for Suali'i. That's awful from the Knights. He will grab it and get taken with the five, but you can't leave Siwali open like that. If he grabs that, passes it, they could have gone out to the, to the wing there. I, I don't know about that one. Uh, but at least for the nice, I'll get the ball here at the, at the five. Uh, I'll tell you from my experience, right, when I speak to like our doctors and whatnot. Um, well, not our doctors, but I shouldn't say that. But uh, when I you know, speak to our team, Phil Sammy was obviously injured in that, in that game against the Dolphins, I think it was. The Dolphins? Where he had a killer game, he crushed it. I'm glad, like I'm glad he stayed out there for the performance that he put on. But with that being said, now he's out for a couple of weeks when he probably shouldn't have played the rest of the game. So it's like the players won't tell the docs the real kind of thing um, a lot of the time. Like the players won't necessarily say 100 percent like th that I'm injured because they want to keep on playing. But then it will come back to haunt them when the game's over and they're like, "Oh shit, I can't actually walk right now," you know. <laughs> like, so right hand side, and obviously, unless it's like. Oh, I don't know. Like, unless it's like extremely obvious, unless it's extremely obvious, the docs can't r really do much. Well, they can suggest it for sure. They can tell Robbo, not Robbo, Adam O'Brien take him off, but it's not like it's a... If the player wants to stay out there and says he's fit and healthy, then they're going to trust that. And as long as it's not a HIA or, like, or a concussion. So right-hand side. Now, Terrell May, please get me some super coach points, Terrell May, please... Players want to be tough end for the team. Exactly right. Exactly right. Kind of Watson, good pass out of Radley. Radley taking another 40. It was good defense, Evan Pierce Paul and also Hastings. Kyle Pierce Paul having a good game, which is fair enough in the heat of the moment. Yeah, exactly right. If it's not in the heat of the moment, then yeah, the players probably think differently. But when it is in the heat of the moment, the game's on, you know, do or die. You want to be there for your mates. You want to be there for your team. You want to be there for your community. And you're fired up. Oh, Knights get the ball. Great cash. Greg Martin's away here. Quick Martin with a 30. Great run, though. Great catch and run. Quick play. The ball wasn't as fast as he probably would have wanted to. Dan Gagline out of the 45. And the Knights are starting to get a roll on here. But yeah, when the heat of the moment's on, obviously... The, also, you've got to remember that... Uh, what's it called? Um, adrenaline's pumping through you as well. So a lot of the time, injuries, you can't feel the extent of it. Because the adrenaline is so highly pumping through your veins. It's like... I believe when you get shot, you don't feel it immediately. Or a lot of people, the adrenaline's pumping through their veins, their veins so hard that you don't actually feel the pain of it immediately. Is that true? That's a completely, not separate topic, but in the same sense, like, good offload there, my piece, Paul. And Hastings, they lost five metres, to be fair. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying, because like, you have a lot of adrenaline as well. You know the comparison that I'm making there without saying that it's the same. <laughs> like, so the Knights kick it up, and Manu crunched down by Daniel Saifidi at the 15. And Saifidi had something to say for him as well. Daniel Tupo now gets taken down at the 25. And he... Oh, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm pretty certain it's true if someone Googles it. Uh, Justin Sutter says, Adrenaline, my soul, something, something, Cody Rhodes. Dun, 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 dun. 
I was never a massive wrestling kid. I loved playing the wrestling on PlayStation with some mates back in the day when I was really, really young. Um, but I never really got into wrestling. I actually haven't really been minding it when I've been watching... Like, I've watched the highlights of WrestleMania and whatnot. It's actually not too bad. Like, obviously, you know it's fake, but you just treat it like a movie, right? And there we go again, Jay. Still confused. Still confused. Ponga! Oh! He's still... This is what I'm saying. The adrenaline's going through his veins right now that... We might hear about an injury after the game, but I think he's going to crack on for the rest of it. I think he will. Joshua Matenga, I don't see Cody being champ for that long. I don't, I don't know the in depths of it all. I don't know in. I just watched it. I enjoyed it. Might watch it again. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was good. It was entertaining for sure. It was entertaining. As long as you have the mindset that it's just entertainment and not real, like it's actually yeah quite good. Oh, they had a two on one on the right if, if Dylan Lucas had found that pass. So, fit tackle. Do they do like WrestleMania once a year? Or is that like frequently throughout the year? Or so I know that Roman Reigns dude uh, held it for a long time, didn't he? So, first tackle here for the Roosters at the 25. And now, second tackle at the 30. The game's gone into a little bit of... Now this is an arm wrestle. Now this is an arm wrestle in this game. They do pay-per-view every month. Oh, so WrestleMania is once a month. Wasn't there like something with Undertaker or something where he went like dead set 20 years without losing something? No, that's what we're talking about, Flo. We're talking about that WrestleMania thing the other day. I, like, again, I will straight up say to everyone, I don't know jack shit about it, but I know it was entertaining. So if it's happened here at the 35... Yeah, I started to get back into WWE recently. Went to Perth, which was sick. And yeah, WrestleMania is once a year the biggest um, biggest event. Yeah, it was massive. The crowd was insane. Kiri. Oh! Uh, two point. What? That was what? That was a great pass out to Tupo. But like that's... Uh, now they've got... They're all on side to What are we doing? This game is really weird at the moment. BK referencing my shipper coming with the arm wrestle. Well, it, didn't make, it was kind of right at the time, but not really. But now it does make sense. First tackle at the 42. Two power. Yeah. Yeah, it was not great. It was not great. They do WrestleMania once a year. So what's the Undertaker one? Where it was like 20 years or some shit. Ponga right inside Dan Gagai. Dan Gagai taking down the 35. The third tackle. Callum Ponga now gives it off to Jack Cogger. Jack Cogger at the back now to oh, Hetherington. Hetherington gives it off to Brayley. Brayley Jackson Hastings. Hastings. Man, ruined that play. Four tail at the 20. Uh, Tony Zatini says, Bro, you were the man. Hopefully one day I can be in one of your vlogs. Keep it up, your legend. Appreciate you, brother. If you see me in the game, mate, I'm in every Titans game, man. And I'm not hard to find. <laughs> so you'll hear me. Jaden Bradley off to the Hastings. Hastings kicks it through. Let's play that. And Roosters get taken down one meter up from their own line. Knights are on top here at the moment. Not the scoreboard, but they're on top. But yeah, Tony, if you ever want to be a vlog, but you want to talk about the Titans, you want to talk about the team we're playing or whatever, jump on in, man. I take it never lost at WrestleMania for like 23 years in a row. That's it. And then wasn't there rumors or something that he, it, he wasn't meant to lose, but like he passed out? Was that it? Was that what happened? Or was that just a rumor? I don't know. I, I think I heard that briefly when I didn't know anything about it. Fourth tackle, Connor Watson goes... That's six again, referee. That's six again, referee. No, apparently not. He got a concussion. Oh, so it is true. So he actually did have a concussion or something and was meant to win, but lost because of that. Yikes. All right, so Callum Palmer grabs his ball here at the 30 and he'll bring it back to the 35. He grabbed it at the 25. Oh, he got away from a tackle. Ponga's still doing... He's still doing stuff here. He's still going, Ponga, at the 45. This game is a good game. 30 minutes to go here in the game, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Go and check out TBC Live in the pinned comment if you haven't already. Now, they built up on they built up the shriek for someone to break it. I heard something about a concussion, bro. That's what people are saying there. So, left hand side. Six again here for the Knights. Matt Kroger, 25 meters out. The crowd's firing up. Now, I'm starting to be a bit more confident that I tipped that Knights 1-12. They go right hand side. Your mate's back, Jay. They give it off to Cogger. Oh, knock on. Now I'm not confident anymore. Not confident anymore. No, no, not confident anymore. Now Ponga is the energizer bunny. Yeah, exactly right, mate. 
He's going to be right. Pong has been great to start the second half and we thought he might even come back out. He was on cloud nine, yeah. I remember, like, when I was younger, it was guys like Triple H and, and Big Show. Oh, the Big Show, man. Rey Mysterio. That was one. Jeez, what are other ones? Was it Kane? I remember a, a friend of mine loved that Kane, dude. He, like, had red and black stripes or something on his... on his. Was he similar to Big Show? I can't remember. Undertaker was cracking on. Batista. Yeah... Ray Mysterio is still around. Ray Mysterio is still around. I swear I was like eight years old when he was cracking on. And that's a penalty here to the Roosters at the 30. They'll love that. They will love that. Kane, I'm going to take his brother. There you go. And it says, Blaze, I'm not happy with your dropping from para this week. With my dropping from para this week? Oh, Blaze Talangi. I'll get you now. <laughs> I'll get you now. Randy Orton, Olivia. Yeah, there you go. I liked the Irish dude with his dwarf. What are you talking about? What's that? Irish dude with his dwarf? Are we allowed? I don't even know if you're allowed to say dwarf anymore, are you? So first thing, I know you will, but obviously me, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it publicly. But then again, everything's PC nowadays. Second tackle here, 11 maze out. They go left-hand side to Kiri. Kiri gives it up to Connor Watson. Watson, his short ball. Crichton! Crichton! Oh, held up. That's a great run from Crichton, but he will be held up. Jeff Hardy, yeah, that's another one. Santa says he was at WrestleMania fighting his son, fighting his son in the tag team, Don Mysterio. There we go. Andre the Giant was a legend. Yeah, Andre the Giant, Jay. Big one. Literally. Four tackle here, five maze out. Terrell May just doesn't have that impact that you would like, is what I would say. And they dock clay to Kiri, Kiri. Manu, no, Manu. It's gonna be a dropout, but no, I disagree with that. If, like, if he kicks it left, maybe, but that was a bit weird. So was the Ultimate Warrior. I know what that is. The little fella was called Hornswoggle. I don't know. Sean. Oh, what was his Sean? What was his last name? What was Sean's last name? He had, like, long, kind of dirty blonde hair, didn't he? So Jackson Hastings. Kicks out well deep, and it's going to be rooted at the ball, the 45. The great Carl Lee, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was who my favourite was back in the day, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Him in the big show. Stevie Michaels, is that it? Yeah. Um, not Stevie, but Stevie Michaels, the next Titans player. Sean Michaels. Second tackle here at the 25. The Royal Rumble is what I used to love playing on the PlayStation. Second tackle here to Victor Radley. Radley now... Maybe 15 metres out. Yeah, great run by Radley. Great run by Radley. Kiri. Kiri at the back here to Manu. Oh, they've got numbers out there. Oh, there's going to be obstruction somewhere if they score here. There'll be an obstruction somewhere if they score. Four tackle here. Five metres out from the line. Yeah, Shawn Michaels. Some fan left in Milliams. What? Terrell May, super coach, please. Oh, he's... Oh, no, no. Not super coach. <laughs> Oh, he's knocked it on, Terrell May. He's try no, you're not challenging this, Terrell May. You're not challenging it, mate. No, you're not challenging it, mate. No, you're not challenging it. Either way, if you challenge this, the Knights get the ball anyway. What is the point of challenging this? But, like, uh, are you... Are you saying... He's saying it goes back... What? Oh, no, Terrell May, stop it. Terrell May, stop it. Stop it. There's definitely a knock-on here by Terrell May. There's definitely a knock-on. It might whiz his... <laughs> Whose hand's that? But that goes backwards from the Knights. Yeah, it goes towards the goal line, so that should be fine from the Knights. There is a lot of hands to look at here, but it's a knock-on regardless. So, Ponga knocks that back. Ponga? Oh, yeah, it goes backwards. Wait, what? Well, no. 
Well, the Knights knocked it backwards, though. Where'd the ball touch the rooster when the Knight touched it? He knocked it backwards. Are they saying... Yeah, he the referee doesn't even agree. Jared Sutt doesn't agree with this either. The bunker, hello? That doesn't make sense. Where does this ball get knocked on by the Knights? It goes backwards. If the Roosters score here, that's wild. That's that's an insane call. That's an insane call. Commentary's going off about it. Even Jared Sutton, yeah, it's going to be a penalty. And that's justice. And that's karma. And that's good karma, man. That's karma, man. As an obstruction against the Roosters, the Knights will get a penalty. That's karma there. That's awful. So a penalty here to the Knights. Yeah, it just got fixed, Flora. Exactly right. Someone says, no, it touched the black tape pan and it hits May again. It touches the night, but it goes backwards. And it didn't touch Terrell May again. It touched Terrell May as it was coming backwards, if that's what you're referring to. But that's going backwards. That was an awful call, but it got it got rectified. It got rectified to the penalty. So Knights now right-hand side. And they'll get this ball to the 40. Second tackle. Good karma there for the Knights. Well, even Jared Sutton was confused. Like, Jared Sutton questioned to the bunker just then. He was like, okay. Like, even Jared Sutton was confused. So, right hand side in the Knights gets ball to the 42. Mitchell says, Who is this bloke at dummy half? <laughs> Zach Dunkel Clay. Uh, Ponga! Oh, nearly got through. Nearly got the offload, but taken down at 30, 25. Fifth tackle. Arguably six again. Jackson Hastings on fifth. Kicks it up. Not much chase, but Tupo will get it. Get away from a really ridiculously weak tackle there from the Knights, and it will be Roos with the ball at 20. Who was in the bunker, Flory says? I don't know. I never will forgive Bunker for making mistakes like that. I will forgive referees, but then again, Sutton, I appreciate that Sutton had the audacity to kind of like say, yeah, to kind of like question the bunker. Heather is still beating May, I'm dead. Hey, at least he didn't lose points for Terrell May just then. Even though it should have been, it should have been lost, lost ball forward, but at least we didn't lose points with it. And it will be Terrell May gets his ball to the halfway point for tackle. Yeah, Terrell May has got to go in Super Coach. Eh? Got to go. Got to go. Connor Watson, 10 out of 45. No, sorry, the 40 on the ninth side of the field. Fifth tackle. Off to Luke Keary. Keary puts that ball into the corner. And should be an easy one there for Twyla. He grabs it and takes it out to the five. This, considering how crazy the first half was, this is a really entertaining game for the opposite reason in the second half, where it's just really... It is an arm wrestle on a grind right now with some pace in it as well. Yeah, it's another questionable one there, Jay. Andrew Backer says, I thought May was doing all right as a coach. He was at the start of the season, but hasn't really been recently. Chris Butler's in the bunker. Four tackle here for the Knights at the 40. At the penalty, the Knights... Oh, quick tap, Dan Gagai. Quick tap, quick tap. Oh, Dan Gagai. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we can't tap quick. Foul play. Needs to be reviewed for further action. What? No, no, no. No, I disagree, Sutton. I disagree, Jared Sutton. I disagree, Jared Sutton. Dane Gago took the tap. You allowed it. He knocked the ball on. And then he's going to say, no, we have to come back. He did say play on, Jai. He did say play on. But he's saying that because it was a foul play, they need to review it. But there wasn't. what was the foul play there that needs to be reviewed? It will be reviewed. Nothing's going to happen. But Dane Gago tapped it. The referee allowed him to play on. Like, like no. No. Like, no. No, Jared Sutton. I refuse to believe what you've just said. He said that foul play needs to be adjudicated on, so we're going to go back to where the ball was. Now, Dan Gagai tapped it. Sutton said play on. Gagai has then knocked the ball on, but then Sutton said we're going to go back for the foul play because it, it, we couldn't actually play it on. Well, that is not... That's your problem, Sutton. You're the one who played it on. So this should have been a knock-on against the Knights. So if that was a try, then what? Well, yeah, we've just seen 
Well, we saw an awful call for the Roosters, and now we've seen an awful call for the Knights. So I'm okay with this one being evened out now. I, I don't think anyone can... Compl- well, people will complain with the referee, but I think that it's evened out now. Evened out. Uh, and Jabaka says, I understand why you react like that, but it was served in... Uh, what did Fryer do? Uh, oh, Butler is a great ref. <laughs> Aguero says, and now someone's gone off injured for the Roosters. So right-hand side, it's Braley, Braley, Koga, Koga. Dane Gagai, Dane Gagai. Oh, Roosters fans are going to spew. Knights try, Dane Gagai. <laughs> oh, no, he's saying no try. Oh, this game's all over the place. He's saying no try here. Luke Keery, potentially obstructed. Luke Keery, potentially obstructed. So Dylan Lucas comes inside towards Keery and no try. No try. No try. So this is shocking. What I will say is there'll be no try, and that's fair. Um, but I will say, Sundos, that if the Roosters had scored a try off that dodgy call before, you wouldn't have been complaining. You wouldn't have been complaining. But with that being said, this will be fairly adjudicated as a no try. Flores obstructions are a joke. Well, that is an obstruction, though. He has pre- pre- uh, prevented Kiri from getting across because Gagai does come back in here where Kiri couldn't have got could have gotten across. It's a no try. Yep. Because Gagai steps back in and then goes back out right, but Kiri would have had an opportunity at try. I don't think he gets there, but in the same sense, it's black and white ruling. It's black and white ruling, and that is the fa- that is a fair call. Seb Watson's another justice call. Yeah, I'd say that, I'd agree, Seb Watson. There, there you go. You know, Sando, the Roosters, they got a bullshit penalty or bullshit call, and then the Knights got the justice call, and then the Roosters got dudded, and the Knights got a bullshit penalty, and then the the Knights got the Roosters got justice call. Right, so uh, it's all evened out. It's all evened out. It's all evened out. No run. No run. Luke Keery now kicks his ball to about the 35. <laughs> Sonny says, okay, even down now, let's play footy. Play on. Play on, boys. Play on. Play on, boys. Play to the whistle, lads. Play to the whistle. Play to the whistle, lads. Oh, I've got to um, give my outcome on TBC Life. I've got to do my outcome. Oh, no. Oh, no. One of my outcomes has already said, I can't do it. Uh, Dang's not mentioned on commentary. Well, that's right. They have not mentioned it. Um, KPP anytime try score second half is still on the. So Terrell May, super coach, please score Terrell May, please, please. Aaron says who forgot to tip? Uh, oh six again with the Roosters. Thirty minutes out. Kerry now at the twenty five. Now the twenty and the fifteen. Crichton taking down thirty minutes out first tackle. Uh, I took uh, I took the Knights one at twelve. So the, but I did say the Roosters have a really good opportunity as an underdog. Good value. Man, that's an obstruction. That's an obstruction. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Referee, bro. Just because he hasn't scored, it doesn't mean it's not an obstruction. Just because it's not a try scoring play, it doesn't mean the obstruction doesn't exist, mate. Third tackle here. 10 minutes out from the line. Zach Docker, Clay, Terrell May. Terrell May, short ball, Collins. Great tackle by Pierce Paul. He's been unreal today. Kai Pierce Paul has cut that man not in half, but he's cut him into quarters. That is a phenomenal. That is a phenomenal tackle there by Kai Pierce Paul. Wow, we. That is that is brilliant. Roosters are challenging the ruling. Yeah, exactly right, Nave. Good old school tackle, Wooshka son. What? No, but he's... Well, he's already lost the ball, though. Yeah. It's... it's Yeah, unsuccessful challenge. Correct call. Correct call. Uh, the, the ball was lost first, and it, it's really not that bad of contact anyway. But they probably would have caught a penalty if it wasn't a knock-on first. It would have been a penalty if it wasn't a knock-on first. It's unfortunate. If it was, like, a significant contact... They probably would have gone and called a penalty, but that's not a penalty. That doesn't override the, the knock on there. Yeah, what a fine and simple. I agree, Andrew, yeah. Not all the time, are they? Justin Sonis says Collins, bro. Good for Queensland. Shit for the Roosters. Yeah, he is phenomenal for Queensland, bro. He is phenomenal for Queensland, but uh, for the Roosters, he still does a job, but like nothing like Queensland, obviously. 
Daz mate says, May on 39, dear me. Hey, listen, I'll take that. He was on 11 at half time, man. So I'll take 39. I will take anything above... Anything above now. I'm honestly okay with that score. <laughs> if he can get above his break even of like 54, I'll, I'll love that. i love that. Because I will be... I'll be trading him out regardless. Right inside here at the back of Ponga. Ponga here. He has a gap. He has a gap. Oh, he slips over at the halfway point. 20 minutes to go here in the game, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Check out TBC Live. Jack Cogger, the pin comment. Jack Cogger, good kick. Hard kick for Manu. Manu does grab it and he brings it out. Now to the 15. Gives it off to Suali'i. He's been quite quiet in this game, Suali'i. And we take that at the 20. First tackle. But yeah, definitely hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. Don't forget, I'll be here for both games tomorrow night, even though I will be in Canberra. I mean, a lot of Queensland players hit another level in Origin, and I hate it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I very much like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Do I like it? Let me have a think. Yes. Yes, I do. Third tackle now. Terrell May. Get me to those super coach points, big boy. Oh, good post contact meters. To the 50. Good run by Terrell May. Fourth tackle. Lindsay's a better fullback anyway. Serves Robbo right for not putting him in his best position. Mitchell, you're absolutely right. Especially with Tedesco out. He should have taken over for Tedesco at the Roosters. After he out jumped him for uh, Queensland versus New South Wales over the year. Was it last year? I think it was last year, wasn't it? First game, maybe? So the kick goes up there for the Roosters and the Knights now. Get it through Greg Matsu. And Greg Matsu. No, and Eric Chihuahua, sorry. Taking another 13. And all fan coming upon us. Bro, I hope the Knights win. Well, it's only a two-point game right now. 19 minutes to go. It's been a fun game to watch, man. Knights led 8 0. Then the Roosters came back to 16 8, and the Knights scored right on half time. And we have not seen a try scored since half time. Four tackle now here for the Knights at the 30. Phoenix Crossland, he'll go right inside the Safidi. Lucky it wasn't a knock on there. I want Titans to cover with the milk. Don't we all, Andrew Backhouse? Don't we all? Good run by Jaden Braley. That's six again, referee. Referee, bro. You've got to be calling this. You've got to be caught. It's very clear that he was. Man, very easy six again call there for the Knights, bro. So Roosters now down two per the five. He'll get this ball to the 15. Sunderland says this game was too intense, man. Yeah, it's a very intense game. It's, for for uh, fans of these two teams, you'd be finding this game quite intense. And Powell goes away. He's at the 35 and taking out the 40. Second tackle, good run. Now the right hand side. And at the halfway point now, third tackle through Angus Crichton. It's had a solid enough game today. Angus Crichton's been sold today. Docker Clay off to join Manu. Manu at the back here to Connor Watson. Watson steps inside, finds a hole, but Pierce Paul locks him down. Kai Pierce, why isn't Leo Thompson the commentary he's talking about there? Leo Thompson wasn't even in the play. It was Kai Pierce Paul. Kiri back to... No, he doesn't pass it to Radley. Lucky the tackle didn't come from uh, the nice play there on Radley because the ball never came to him, so it would have been a penalty. So Connor Watson now puts that ball up and should be an easy one there. Nice to get there easy. And Nari Tawala with a great round of the 15. Really strong run there. Real strong run. Knights now, Jackson Hastings. And now Bradman Best to the 22. Second tackle now. Guys, comment in the chat. Do you think the Knights will find a way to win this game at home at McDonald Jones Stadium? Or do you think the Roosters will hold out in a real gritty performance without Tedesco, without Sam Walker, without Dom Young? Do they find a way? Crossland, left-hand side here to Gagai, and Gagai will be 43 metres out from the line for tackle. If this was the Titans playing in the Raiders right now, in our situation, man, I... Oh, Saifidi's so close. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. Fifth tackle at the halfway point. Andrew says the crowd will get him home. You reckon Knights will win? The crowd will get him home. Not a great kick there from Jackson Hastings. Right to Suali, who grabs it at the 15, brings it out to the 25, and now to the 30. Not a great kick there from Hastings at all. Nelson says, I hope the Knights win. Uh, Seth Watson says, let's get a KPP try. Love that for Supercoach. Joey Manu. Joey Manu's still going. It went sideways and Hastings is going to really manhandle him. Oh, good on you, Hastings. Manhandles Manu there. Manu's had a great game. Well, great first half. Not so much second half. Third tackle in with the Roosters. Connor Watson's so solid run. I think Connor Watson's been good. Considering he's coming to the 5-8 role today in the absence of Sam Walker pushing Kira to the 7 and Watson into the 6, I think he's done a job. Oh, he's... It's gone backwards, it's fine. No, no, no. The Knights fans can ball their light, but it went backwards. The Roost, that ball definitely went backwards there from Palga. Four tackle at the halfway point. Off to Terrell May. And Terrell May, good pass off there too. Radley, Radley. Radley had the pass. Oh, and it was Jennings too, bro. Oh, that would have been the three. Oh, he missed him. 
They would have gone crazy as well. They would have gone crazy. Terrell May. Terrell May gives it off to Tupo. 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 Try time for the Roosters. Oh, they've missed a great try there for, for Michael Jennings with the whole situation. But with that being said, Daniel Tupo scores. And also, for everyone who has Terrell May, you're going to get some good super coach points there because he had that line break assist there for Victor Radley. And he's also going to have the try assist there for uh, Daniel Tupo. So try time there for the Roosters on the left hand side. But look at this. Terrell May, great run, good pass to Radley. Radley goes right through the line. He's at the 40 to 30. He has an easy pass to Michael Jennings, who would have had a try to the post, but instead gets tackled at the 20. Then they go to the left-hand side. Brandon Smith has got Kiri. Kiri Brandon Smith, nice little inside run. But he doesn't give it to Kiri. He gives it across to Crichton. Crichton bats it on to Terrell May. Terrell May to Daniel Tupo, and the Knights uh, just couldn't catch Daniel Tupo on that sideline, and he does get over the line. So big kick here from the wing. Big kick here from the wing here for the Roosters. Big kick. Big kick. It's only a six-point game right now. This is the first try score of the second half. Has that was shocking defense there. Oh, I think they were, they were in tatters from the, the line break, right? Like, the line break was... It wasn't great defense there. But you can kind of understand that they were all just defensively out of whack when they were chasing back. And that nice, it was a nice flick on from Crichton too, man. It was. Radley would have got a five-year suspension if he passed the Jennings. That would have been hilarious to see what commentary would have said, man. Because commentary's obviously been instructed today to not talk about Michael Jennings' 300th. And if he had a score there, would they have been able to not? Would they have been able to not is the question. All right, Suwali'i. Big kick here from the left-hand wing. Massive kick. He's two from three tonight, 67%. If he misses it, it's still a six-point game. If he gets it, goes out to an eight-point game. Suwali'i here. I have... I hate it from... Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got that. I thought that was going to hit the post. But he does get it and it will be an eight-point game. Plenty of time here, Newcastle Knights fans. Don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. Don't think it's game over. It's only an eight-point game 14 minutes to go. Uh, Canal says whoever scores next gets a win. If Knights score next, I don't necessarily think they, they win. But they've got a good chance, obviously. They're only down by eight. But they have to score twice still, obviously. Uh, Channel 9 was talking about Jennings 300th. I'm watching it on KO. Well, they really. Did they actually do that? Well, KO's been definitely instructed not to. Watch him do not do that at the Tars next year. Absolutely. <laughs> well, if he went to the Fiji and Drew, I'd support it. It says, yeah, John's talking about Jenko's 300th. There you go. Well, KO definitely hasn't. Don't forget, tomorrow night, guys, we'll be streaming live here for the Broncos versus the Giga Gear, the Dolphin. And also, we've got the early game, which is the Melbourne Storm hosting the Canterbury Bulldogs. The old Daz mate, Wolf Wolves. So, Roosters here, Crichton again. Great run to the 30. Gamers is up the Bronx. Mate, you got a Panthers logo. What do you mean? It's no. It's not how life work. Oh, Daniel Tupo, this is the game, I reckon. Oh, that's an unbelievable tackle there from uh, Adam Elliott. You have a Panthers logo, mate. What do you mean up the Bronx? So, no. <laughs> Fit tackle here. At the 35. Bro's lost. Bro's all over the shot, mate. <laughs> mate, well, he didn't lose the grand final. How about that? <laughs> he, he, he didn't have it. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty tackle in there. That's, that's, that's shocking, Victor Radley. That's shocking, bro. That's shocking, Radley. That, that's not a bin, but that's shocking. That's a, that is a great and brave take there from Ponga, who's injured right now. That is a great take, but Radley, bro, no. Like, honestly, you'd even argue a bin, to be fair. You'd argue it. I'm okay with it not being a bin, but like that's that I, I'd argue that's a bin. Yeah, it's even a crusher as well. Like it's it's even and a crusher. But with that being said, I'm okay with it not being a bin. But I could have seen a world where it was. So first tackle now for the Knights, and they're gonna get this ball to the 45. Daniel Teichman says, "Why all of a sudden a lot of high scoring games? I'm losing my retirement betting unders." Oh, this is that high scoring. It's only 36 points. It would still be the under, wouldn't it? 36 points would still be the under, surely. Uh, Jice, is it a Roosters game without Radley going to report or going to the bin? Gamer says Broncos beat the Dolphins tomorrow. Bro, who do you support? You've got a Panthers logo, buddy. Jack Cogger goes right hand side. Dan Gagai. Dan Gagai will be 28 minutes out from the line. Andrew said, I think he saved, served his bin for that last week. <laughs> Third tackle here for the Knights. Jack Cogger. Cogger at the back now to Elliot. Oh, no. Oh, Leo Thompson. Oh, he's, oh, he's still nearly losing it, but he got it. He's got it. Cross your fingers, nice fans. Close your eyes because that was nearly, that was nearly a bad mistake. 
Crossland now, right-hand side, Adam Elliott. Adam Elliott, lucky he didn't pass that. That would have been a knock-on waiting to happen. Oh, oh settle down, Crichton. So, fifth tackle here at the 20 of the Knights. They're only down by eight points. Crossland, he'll go to Ponga. And Ponga's going to put that ball up. Surprise, he's kicking considering the injury. Oh, Sawali'i gets the ball and taking it out of the eight. First tackle. This game's still got a lot in it. <laughs> Stop us to send him off. I love a good Robo Winch. You know, like, was there much to really complain about in that regard? Like, if he had been sent off, like, could you have argued really too much? I don't know. It, like, he, it was pretty bad tackling there. Daniel says they're going to score again. I think the Knights will score again. I think they'll still lose, but I think the Knights might score again. Roos has been playing better than last year. That is absolutely incorrect. They, oh, that's a four pass. That was a four pass from the Roosters. Fifth tackle at the halfway point. There's no way you think the Roosters been playing better than last year. They lost to the Dogs last week, mate. They were down like 30 to 4. They're down like 30 to 4. But then again, you're entitled to your opinion, bro. You're, in, you're entitled to your opinion. Um, Kanaponga. You get saying that at 25. Uh, but no, I disagree. It's what I'll say. I'll disagree. Game of sports every team. He doesn't want to be... He doesn't want to be called a hater. <laughs> Fair enough. 10 minutes to go here, guys. 10 minutes to go. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Knights have got some space here. Dan Gagai. Oh, taking out of 40. Was that the right play to come inside? I'm not sure. Okay, gamer, I think you're probably a little bit too young. I think you're a little bit too young, bro. So, full tackle here with the Knights at the halfway point. Okay, this is nice and trash. Bro, you, you've said that you're a Broncos fan when you've got a Panthers logo. I think that tells me everything we need to know. So, fifth tackle now at the 35. Fifth tackle at 35. This has been the game of the round. Your dad's mate has definitely been the game of the round so far, for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Good chase through here by the Knight. Oh! Oh, it was nearly a mistake by the Roosters. That would have been huge. That would have been huge. Han says, Knights have never won a Thursday night at home. That's probably why they're somehow losing against this Roosters side. It's just so weird, those stats, eh? Those stats are so weird. And just always, not always, but those stats are so weird. How they, like, are just a thing. They're just a thing. Jennings is playing better than last year. Des, mate, you're on fire, mate. You're on fire. Four tackle here at the 32. Four tackle. Seb Watson says Panthers were good against the bye, though. Panthers were good against the bye, Seb Watson. Yeah, they just tried to work on a few things. They came out unscathed, luckily enough. So, well, sorry. No. Oh, no. Great charge down. Oh, no. Knock on, is it? Oh, it's a nice ball at 45. I think that's a knock on nice, isn't it? I thought Dan Gagai knocked that ball on just then. Oof. I thought that was a knock on Dan Gagai. I could be wrong. Are you guys saying the same thing as me? Here we go. We'll see. So, the, a good charge down there. Well, good pressure from Adam Elliott. Let us inside Bradman Best. Best now. Taking out the 33 to 30. Good run. Yeah, I agree, Slab. I think he lost that. They didn't show it again. So, right hand side, Jackson Hastings out at the 35. If they can try and get a repeat set at minimum here, they'll be on. They'll be on here. 30 meters out of the Knights. Phoenix Crossland. Out to Adam Elliott. Elliott back here to Cogger. Cogger to Cogger. Oh, Pierce Paul. He's knocked it on. He's had such a phenomenal game, Kai Pispool, but he knocks it on. He's knocked it on. So zero tackle with the Roosters at the 32. I think that's game over. Like, I shouldn't say that because I should keep the hype up, but, like, I think that's... Um... Oh, good idea. It'll be Terrell May taking out the halfway point, second tackle. He even looked like he was waiting with the ref caller. I think everyone was slower. Fadimus says, Panthers did good against the bye. Titans destroyed the bye. Titans whooped the bye, son. They whacked him. Whacked him. Not even just for six. Oh, Crichton. It's not a knock on. It's backwards. Oh, no, it is. They, ooh, I challenge that. Challenge that, Roosters. Challenge that. Challenge that. Challenge that, Roosters. Challenge that for sure. 100%. It's not. I don't think it's a knock on. They're not challenging it. Am I wrong here? Crichton. He's still got it. Where's the knock on there? I don't know about that. I don't know why they wouldn't challenge that, Roosters. You've got seven minutes to go. You may as well. Uh, Joshua, set of origin is, I think, June 4th? June 5th or something like that? Something around there. Oh, good solid contact there from Brandon Smith. 
on Bram and Bess. So first tackle of the Knights, Phoenix Cross on the right side. No, they didn't lose their challenge, Mitchell. The, they had their challenge when they they received the successful challenge for the Terrell May knock-on, which was a knock-on, but they said wasn't. Cogger Ponga. Ponga out to the 40. The 35, mate, without Ponga, this Knights team is no, yeah, no. But it's a really confusing cause in this game. Third tackle, Crossland. Off to Cogga. Cogger at the back now to Adam Elliott. Adam Elliott goes himself. He's at the 30. They go Crossland off to Hastings. Hastings at the back of to Cogger. Cogger hit a Bramman Bear, slips over. Adam is out. You get a set restart here. He's still on here. So they go right hand side. Oh, they lost on the Collins knock on. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Up it goes. That's a knock on for the Knights. And, geez. The Knights have been their own worst enemies in regards to knock-ons in the last couple of moments. Hard says, Knights came out firing and ever since they've been woeful. Uh, they were in... They've been in this game for a long time. I wouldn't say woeful. I'd say they were woeful from the 15th to the 20th... The 15th to the 35th minute. They were woeful. The Roosters were the worst team in history for the first 15 minutes. Then for 20 minutes, they were great and the Knights were awful. In the last five minutes of the first half, the Knights dominated... And then the second half was a massive arm wrestle until that try to the Roosters. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just, unfortunately, the Knights have been their own worst enemy since then. So Roosters now, 38 minutes out here from the line. Fit tackle. The Knights have to get a move on, man. they got to get a move on. The Roosters put that ball up in the air. I'd let Jennings go for it. That's a knock-on there from Jennings. And Ponga will grab the ball at the fire. But it will be Knights ball here, I think, about a 25 or so. But they're going to score pretty much this... Well, they've got... Maybe two and a half sets to, to score. Sorry, two and a half sets to score. So Knights now will be a narrow two to the 25. Knights would have won a snorkel man was there, Mitchell. It's a good shout. Very good shout. Haven't lost yet. They have not lost yet. Jackson Hastings to the 40. If they can score this set on the next set, they're on. Adam Elliott, right outside of Cogger. Cogger here. Get, oh, good hit. Oh, no, not a good hit from Balga. And they're away here, the Knights. Oh, I'll tell you that, 45. Good run by Dylan Lucas, third tackle. Dane Gagai, they need to do something now. Try and get a repeat set. Just get anything. Just no knock-ons. That's what you've been doing the last couple of sets. No knock-ons. In the back, I says, Josh, I like you if you're a New South Wales fan, but Blaze is the sexiest Queenslander ever in Queensland because they're the origin champions, and I'll never disrespect a Queenslander because I'm a massive, massive, massive respectful person who loves Queensland, the champions of origin. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. How is that not a penalty there of the Knights? Jack Cogger puts that bottom in the air. Good chase through. Let's see how this one goes. Knock on Roosters. Here comes the Knights. 15 minutes out. Four minutes to go here. Knock on Roosters. The Knights. 15 minutes out over the line. Zero tackle. Crossland gives it off here to Hastings. Hastings to Bradman Best. Bradman Best back on the inside. He's five minutes out over the line. That's exactly what Andrew said. Yeah, thank you for agreeing. So right inside. Crossland off to Hastings. Hastings at the back here to Crossland. At the back here to Adam Elliott. Adam Elliott to the post. It's going to be a two-point game. It's going to be 22-20 with three and a half minutes to go. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. 22 8 with a kick to come. Adam Elliott scores underneath the post. <laughs> Hans, bro, you're going to get timed out, mate. You, you, you can't... Don't comment it before you hear me commentate it, bro. Don't comment in the chat before you hear me commentate. But it will be with three and a half minutes to go here in the game... 22 to 8 and with a kick to come to the Knights and from right in front the Knights have still got time great offload there by Crossland and Adam Elliott right underneath the post game on baby game on dang gay guy bang two point game guys <laughs> two point game hit that like button subscribe if you are new around here guys we'll be live all weekend long check out TBC live the pin comment in the chat Here we go with 3 minutes and 19 seconds to go here of the game. What was the points line? Knights minus 4.5. 3.19 to go here. I don't bet, but I, I see it, obviously. When you're on Instagram, man, you can't get away from that kind of stuff. When you're here, you can't get away from that kind of stuff, to be fair. So 3 minutes. Like, it's been a great game to watch, man. It's been a great game to watch. Three minutes and 18 seconds to go here of the game. Is it true that Nathan Cleary will be sidelined a bit longer than predicted? I think it's only one or two weeks longer, but yeah, I believe so. All right. Comment in the chat, guys. Do you think the Knights sneak it, or do you think the Roosters hold out? 
The Knights' first tackle, Saifidi gets his ball to the 20. You get the Newcastle share. Don't give away a penalty, Roosters. That's the worst thing you could do. Right hand side, he gives up to Greg and Marcy, who hasn't had an impact in this game. Second tackle. They go left hand side. Jaden Braley now gives it off to Dan Gagai. Dan Gagai to the 32. Just don't give away a penalty, Roosters. Two point field goals on, but obviously Hastings went for it the first half and it looked awful. So, you know, Hastings back on the inside. And it's going to be uh, <laughs> Adam Elliott taken down at the 40. Uh, Daniel Teichman, appreciate you for the $2 redo donation, brother. Says, I have a question. Shoot it through, man. Jack Cogger, he's at the 45. Thank you for your donation. Fifth tackle now. What are the... Don't go out for the strip here. All right, at the back now to Hastings. Hastings will put that ball up in the air. I'll answer your question in just a second, Daniel. Hard keep the take here, but Suwali'i grabs it. The Knights will still get a chance. The Knights will have a chance. Suwali'i is away here. He's at the 30. He's still going, 35. He's still going. They haven't tackled him yet. Now he's at the 38. Daniel Tyson says, why when a team is winning and sometimes winning by a lot have the ball last and it's past the 80 minutes, why do they score instead of just giving the ball up? Um, I can't really think about your answer right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll answer it after this game, after this dies down a little bit. Third tackle now for the Roosters and they're going to be halfway point. It's Warrior Hargraves, third tackle. Rolls it back to Brandon Smith. Smith after Radley. Someone in the chat knows what he's talking about. Can you please answer him as well? Fourth tackle now at the 45. Brad Smith up in the middle, taking out the 40. It'll be fifth tackle now. Minute 40 to go here in the game. Victor Radley off to Luke Keary. Keary will kick it into the corner. Doesn't go to the sideline, though. They give it to Ponga. Ponga hit the 15. He's looking for a hole. Ponga looking for something. He's away, Ponga! Ponga's away! He got the 30! He got the 40! He got the 50! He's taking out the 45 on the Roosters' side of the field. It's first tackle. Ponga, take a bow, man. With an injury, he's still killing it. That's nearly a bin there. The Knights here, they're still going. They're at the 40. It's Jaden Braley. Braley here to Jackson Hastings. Hastings here. Hastings! He's taking out to the 30. This is crazy right now. Second tackle with a minute to go of the game. Jaden Braley to Kai Pierce Paul. They, they've got the option of a two point field goal. If they get a penalty, we go to extra time. 57 seconds to go here. Try wins it. Cross with the ball at 20. Crossing was at the back end of Cogger. Cogger's got Ponga! Ponga! Underneath the Gagai! He's five metres out of the line for tackle. 47 seconds to go here in the game. Dane Gagai. Oh, that's nearly a penalty. No, apparently not. Ponga now. Ponga's at the 10. He gives at the back here to Cogger. Cogger here to Adam Elliott. Adam Elliott! Oh, three metres out of the line. Fit tackle. Here we go. Last chance here for the Knights. Last chance. Braley kicks it through. Game over. Terrell May. Roosters win. What a finish. What a finish to the game. I don't know why he kicked that like that. I don't know why he kicked that like that. And also, where was the support for Pong on that run? That was tense, Fatima. Night Sands are going to be left wondering. I don't know why there's booing right now. I don't know why there's booing right now. Yeah, kick was the wrong play, Sashin. It was like the Broncos last week with Tristan Saylor, right? Well, kick was the right play, just not that play. Um, they'll be left wondering. Uh, I think that it comes down to the fact no one followed Pong up through that break. You know, Ponga made that break in his own 10, right? And got all the way out to the 45 on the other side of the field, but no one was there. You know, if he had someone there, he passed on the inside, passed on the outside, it's game over, they win the game the Knights. Um, but, you know, the Roosters do find a way to win. They'll win 22 to 20. Uh, yeah, there was two times they had no support, Andrew Backhouse. Absolutely. Oh, they're booing the refs and the Chooks. I don't think they're booing the Chooks. I think they're probably booing the refs. But, you know, look, I thought there probably should have been... I... I, I I don't know why the boos are so significant, though. It's not like it was... It's not like it was that controversial. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are they... What, the, the booing doesn't make that much sense. Um, Joshua says that's even worse to lose by two points. Like, there's controversial calls in that game, but I don't understand the the significant booing that we heard there at the end there. It wasn't like it was a crazy... I think maybe just because of the, the hype of that, the adrenaline pumping through everyone, maybe they thought the penalty towards the end. Maybe, so it wasn't, maybe... Uh, maybe. Um, there was a couple of hold-down plays late on. You could have asked, potentially, um, maybe you could have said there was a penalty and a bin for holding down Ponga at the 45, which would have been a tough kick, and they would have gone for that too. Maybe I would argue that, but I don't think it, it warrants the significant two. Now, Daniel Teichman, I'll go back up to your comment. Um, he says, why, when a team is winning 
and sometimes winning by a lot, have the ball last, and it's past the 80 minutes, why do they score instead of just giving the ball up? Um, I would just basically say, you know, one, it could be for and against. Maybe they want to get some more points for their for and against, um, you know, to help them towards the back end of the season when it comes to making the top eight or getting ladder positioning. Uh, two, they've already won the game, so there's no risk. You may as well just throw the ball around, practice an attack and set and play, uh, and just keep on playing with it, right? Uh, and then, you know, three, I guess it is just instinct to just keep on playing with it. It just it depends on if you don't want to get injury, you're too tired, or the game is close, then you just obviously run it out, but or um, we'll kick it out, or to give the ball up, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I think that answers your question. I could be wrong. Uh, Fernando says Daniel to get a higher point difference, which makes them higher on the table. Yeah, it depends. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that kind of get impacted by that situation. Um, but there's a yeah, there's a few things that you add into the context. It depends on the context. Um, maybe they thought penalties towards the end. Kiri almost messed it up for us by not kicking it out. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. That was a that was a really bad bad call there from Kiri to uh, to not be able to get that ball over the sideline. Here we go. I want to watch it again here. So. They get it to Ponga. Ponga at the 10. He goes out to the right. Now, this is all for the fence there from Palga. And then Ponga's... Like, why is Bradman... Be was that Bradman Bess who didn't follow up? No one followed up. They had, didn't have an inside play, but an outside play, maybe. This is where I call Bin. That's where I potentially call Bin and penalty, which would have changed the game. But I'm not... It's not that controversial. It's just this is all for... Adam Elliott nearly scored there, which was crazy. But this is stupid here. From I think it's Jaden Braley goes for a short kick. Why would you go for the short kick underneath where the ball is, you want to have as, as limited amount of plays there as possible. You go for the one-on-one -on -one kick if you have to out in the wing. I just don't agree with the short play underneath there. I don't agree. Uh, Ogle Daniel. Uh, Nabi says, I thought Cameron got tripped at the end there. Not sure. Uh, not sure. Andrew Baggins says, Night Blaze, have a good flight tomorrow. I hope you are packing your blankets. Yeah, yeah. I'm off, obviously off to Cameron tomorrow, guys. Um, so we'll end the stream here. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you for everyone for your donations and your support tonight and for everyone who just obviously watched on as well. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I will be in Canberra from tomorrow until Monday for the Titans vs. Raiders game on Sunday. So I'll be streaming tomorrow night's Bulldogs versus Storm game and Broncos versus Dolphins game from Canberra. Plus also on Saturday, we will be streaming uh, the Warriors Manly, Eels Cowboys and Sharks and Rabbitohs down there in Canberra. And then on Sunday... I won't be streaming Tigers, Dragons, or Raiders, Titans, but you will have TJC Sports, who will be covering the Raiders, Titans game for you. Um, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Obviously, check out TBC Live. Uh, pin comment in the chat. Um, definitely get around TBC Live. They support this channel, um, and we definitely appreciate that, and I hope you guys are having fun with it. Appreciate you, Daniel Teichman, for the $5 donation. It says, so a close game, they will try not to score and just end the game as is, but a game where the other team can't win, they'll try to score. So a close game, they will try not to score and just end the game as is. Well, it's like, okay, I'll put it into perspective. So, firstly, thank you for your donation. Um, put it into perspective. If a team is leading 16, a uh, team is leading 22-20, if the Roosters have the ball, they're not going to pass it, they're not going to try and score because it's risky. You could lose the ball, you could knock it on, you could make a mistake, right? So, uh, you don't want to give a potential risk of losing that ball to an intercept try. Like, if they throw the ball and the Knights catch it and intercept it and score, they win the game, right? So, there's no point to that. So, yeah, they will they will sacrifice the risk of it. They will sacrifice the risk by not throwing it around so they ensure the win, and that's what the Roosters just did. But if the Roosters are, say, up 40 to 6 with, you know, 30 seconds to go, they may as well play it out. There's no risk involved. So you can throw it around. If there's an intercept, whoop de do. You know, you lose four to six points or whatever, but you also have a chance of making a bigger points differential for you, which comes into effect late on in the year um, and will um, potentially come into effect right now in regards to that positioning. But I uh, hope that answers the question for you. I'm jumping off for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the two games, like I said, Bulldogs and Storm and also Broncos and Dolphins. And I appreciate you guys as always. Thumbs up, subscribe, see you then. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.